Are you under a curse? Is she on the go home? What? I don't know, baby. What curse? Are you carrying a curse? You are asking me? Yes. When you know what I'm talking about? What are you talking about? Why are you defiling this, our business environment? By practically sleeping with all the girls walking here? Is, is this place a monastery? Is it a hotel? Do you see any bed? Yeah? What is your business when I do my office? If you have come here for us to quarrel, tell them you didn't see me. I will abandon you and face the work the fights I have to attend to the day. Talk business with me. Now. What business do you want me to talk? What business? We have 11 girls employed in this company. The one I just caught you with is the seventh one in a row you are messing with in your office. You know, is that how we are supposed to be building a strong company? And dwarf our competitors? Look, okay, listen to me. The concept of building a strong company that will face our aggressive competitors depends on the motor depends on the motivation to the workers. Yes! I am motivating myself. And on the other hand, I'm motivating the guests at the same time to face their challenges. Let's talk business now. Let's talk business now. What business? Listen. I am monitoring you every step of the way. <laughs> be very careful. You be very careful with what you do here. Because when I decide to apply the rules of justice, I don't look at faces. Why cannot work? Why cannot work? If I do that in the of my heart, why is this guy like this? Why is he monitoring me? Me bukwanya. Look at, look at. I get the mutina cry this. I even go off. I'm tampa. I can't see from nowhere. If I kill him, they will. Does it mean you've made up your mind to follow in the bad example of the now infamous Miss Murray? Um, I'm sorry, sir, but I do not know who is called Miss Murray. Okay, does it mean you cannot find a boyfriend for yourself? No, from all these boys littered in this town, you cannot find any of them to satisfy your sexual urge? Why are you contaminating this, our business environment? Why? Um, um, sorry sir, I don't understand what you're talking about. But if you're making reference to my meeting with Mr. Bonkwe, then I must tell you that nothing happened. Nothing happened? Yes. Really? And I was hearing you moaning from my outside and nothing happened. I want to listen to me and listen attentively. Getting to the top. It is possible somebody told you that ladies get to the top by sleeping with managers. I put it to you here and now that that is a fat lie. A woman can never get to the top by sleeping with anybody. <clears throat> you get to the top by working hard. Now, gather all those useless colleagues of yours. All those cheap, stupid girls in this our business place that are in the habit of opening themselves to Mr. Bonko in his office and warn them one by one. The next time I catch any of them in that stupid act of theirs, defiling this business environment of ours, I am going to show that person in a very mean way why they call me bad omen. And I mean it. Uh, hold on, sir, please. Uh, wait, you mean to tell me that Mr. Bonkwem has also been sleeping with other girls in his office? That's a question? And you really want me to answer that? Really? Okay, it is possible you urgently opened yourself to him because he told you you are the only one, right? Well, Amanda, I do not mean to insult you, but looking at you right now, 
I think you are an idiot. Nonsense. <sighs> Hold on, sir. I mean, why are you constantly doing this? I've already made up my mind that I do not want to have anything to do with any man around where I walk. Why, why would you make such a decision, beautiful girl like you? We have many other girls in the company, but it's only you that I want to have understanding with. Do you know why? Because you're the best. If you just agree and flow with me, eh? you'll be the happiest girl in this country. Hmm. I swear. Okay. So hold on. Uh, How am I sure that this thing you're telling me is not the same thing you're telling every other girl? Jesus. And the grace. How can I... Uh, this is an insult now. Eh? Just you and you alone. Okay? Then what? Then? So honestly, I don't really like this. I know. Even if we have to do something, not in the office. I mean, it could be somewhere else. My bed, yeah, this is my office. Be mobile. Megan, stop, stop, please. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? How could I have allowed him to do that? Quite a distance, you know. Yeah. Mm. You mean we left all the way from the office down here just to have lunch? I just hope the food is worth it. Well, the best I've had today. <laughs> In that office, baby, you are the only girl that possesses the international quality. A lot of girls are low, low quality. I'm beginning to wonder why MD employed them to work in that company. <laughs> Come on. You know. <clears throat> Some people say you always have your way with words. I think no, no. I'm beginning to see that. It is because you belong to international constituency with international eye of an international mother. I'm going to show you so much of international love. You hear me? See, I will show you the Las Vegas model of love on your head with tear. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. You are there. I am here. Why did you send 10,000 Naira to my account? Was that what we agreed? Papa, manage that what I give to you now. Manage it. Eh? Manage what I managed to give to you. If you praise a man for bringing chicken, tomorrow he can give you a goat. What useless proverb are you putting to my ear? Am I the one you are giving the money? Have you ever given me money before? I am talking about the money you own the development union. And I told you it's 37,000 Naira. Why should you send 10,000 Naira to my account only? But what, what are they developing? I have not seen anything, anything developed already. Please, eh? I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. Tell them to manage whatever I manage to bring. All right, I'm not dying soon. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, are you still there? Hey, what useless son is this? Uh, what kind of son is this? Sorry, my brother. My, my. <laughs> sorry, I'm completely distracted. My memory card is off. Sometimes I feel like I'm not going to be a member of this. This cow union thing. If you they keep bringing bills to you, if you fail to pay, they'll go to your mother and your father and village. I'm going to disturb them. Uh, why don't you just pay them the money and save your poor father from the embarrassment? I mean, you should. I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah, Upo. I did not. Come back. Is it my father you call a poor man? I didn't call him poor. I did not literally mean poor. I mean, I don't know him. Why would I call him poor? You just call him poor before me. 
I don't mean poor. That is just a standard of English. I mean, it's just like saying the poor president. Doesn't necessarily mean the president is poor. <sighs> all I just mean is, why not pay the money? That's all. Um, I think this food is wasting time. How long are we going to wait? Calm down. In fact, this place is very special. If you enter here and order for anything, they prepare it fresh as you come. They just kill chicken for us. Hmm? Yes. Full chicken, they just kill one for us. Let's come down with it. Hey, I don't think Mr. Bumpom is around. I saw him driving out. Yes, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. We're here. Can I be of any help? Why are you talking like that? Didn't you see my name on the call? Why are you not picking? Please go straight to the point. I don't have any time for nonsense, please. Wait, wait, hold on. Do you know who is speaking to you? Obviously, I'm sure you don't know who is speaking to you. It's Amanda talking to you. I am in the middle of a very serious business, okay? Let's see you tomorrow, okay? Since I know you don't have anything to discuss with me, please. I am convinced that in that office that you have an edge over all the other girls in the office. That's why I love you. <laughs> I love you, sir. Thank you, sir. That's my girl. See, you are an international girl. So let's see everything between us professional. I don't want anybody to know that I'm going out with you in that office, okay? Yes, sir. I should trust you. You can trust me, sir. <laughs> That's my girl. Sorry to disturb you, sir. In one short sentence, what do you want? Please, sir, don't be mad at me. Please. That's a problem? Please, can I sit down? Sit. Thank you.
This is your house. Yes, sir, but do you think it's right for me to come back home now? Can you define the word right? Sir, please don't misunderstand me. What I'm trying to say is, is that I have a lot of files to, to tidy up in the office. Yes, I've just used my fatal power as the manager of the place to bring back home rest. Don't you like it? I like it, sir. So why do you say right, right? You cannot define right? Right means when something is not wrong. Who told you that? A word even the world highest scientists cannot define. You are a slave queen. <laughs> You're my queen. Your oh, beauty. I brought you home. Go in there. Take a warm shower. Catch some sleep. All this typing that in the office will really teach me. Who am I to complain, sir? Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm She has a kind of problem with him. Problem? What problem could Amanda be having with Mr. Onkwe? She's your friend. I am thinking you should ask her. Mr. Onkwe is not a good man. He is ready to deal with anyone that crosses his path. I don't know why Amanda would be having a problem with him. Millicent. You appear to know more about Mr. Bokwe. Tell me, what do you know? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Jay? See, CJ, I only made a report. I once overheard Mr. Bokwe telling Larry that he is the owner of this company, that he's ready to deal with anyone that crosses his path. And to the best of your knowledge, is Mr. Bonquem the owner of the company? Can you just be productive and leave Mr. Bonquem alone? <laughs> Please, sir. Are you saying the truth? I made mention of Miss Modi when I came to your office earlier. And I am certain you didn't understand what I was talking about. I am going to explain now. Miss Modi is a very beautiful woman. The woman who was lucky just like you to be employed in a thriving company where she was in charge of some relevant departments. Then she decided to get to the top. I don't know who told her that getting to the top has got anything to do with sleeping with men. Miss Modi didn't get to the top. Instead, she slept her way into the abyss of despondency. As we speak, that one time powerful woman, that woman that was in charge of relevant departments in a thriving company, has been reduced to a pitiable level where she is selling Ogogoro to some lousy conductors and the stupid drivers in the Tipa garage. I wouldn't want you to follow in that bad example. Thank you, sir. I sincerely appreciate. But please, sir, could you tell me these other girls that are seeing Mr. Bonquem that you want me to warn? Hey, listen, you met me doing something. And I am not done with that thing that I, I was doing before you came in. Now that you are trying to deviate my attention to nonsense. I don't have that time. Could you please go back to your office? Sir, please. I'm begging you. Don't throw me out like that. I mean, don't dismiss me like that. I need this piece of information. It's very important to me. 
Mr. Pongwe lied to me. If I you are certain he lied to you, then you go to him and sort it out. It has nothing to do with me. And I, I want to give you one advice. Be careful not to jeopardize your chances in this company. Be very careful. Because I am monitoring you every step of the way. for you. A lot of people. Did you tell them the importance of lunch? <laughs> Sir, you, you don't need to be angry with me. I'm really telling you what happened at your back. What happened at my back? Let whatever that happened at my back stay there. I deal with issues on ground as it comes. You didn't tell anybody you were going out. You see a drug woman. Why? As in, you see a drug woman. Anyway, I shall come and take orders from you before I go for my lunch. Listen, listen, no. I never said you should come and take orders from me. No. What I'm saying is that this is the third time I have come to shake this office of yours in the last three hours. And you will know you will to be found. For God's sake. You, you, as a manager, supposed to know that lunch break is not supposed to be more than 30 minutes. Do you know what I want to eat? It depends on what I want to eat and the location. Tell me why you are here. Okay, listen. There is this new product. It's actually a relaxer made by Fountain Cosmetics. Something, something that has already become the toast of women. The MD was the one that noticed it. And then he called my attention to it and asked me to analyze that product and see a way we can counter it as a company. And that is exactly what I wrote down. Then go ahead and analyze whatever contract or whatever assignment MD gave you. Let me hear a lot of it. I'm in charge of transport and distribution. You are in charge of all these uh, uh, greens and air. Oh, have I ever told you that I'm a scientist? Hey, hey, listen, I never ask okay. whatever, but I have never asked for your assistance. I have done the job I was asked to do. I have analyzed the product and I've written my analysis. Or the volume that I gave Florence to type so I can go and see the MD. As I'm talking to you now, Florence is nowhere to be found and I made inquiries. And I was told you left with her. I don't understand what that means. I don't even understand you too. What? Why are you digging deep into my affairs in this company? I'm beginning to see my problem here. Do you know the truth? The truth is that I am not going to allow you to bring me to that level and make me lose focus. No, 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 no. Where is Florence? Let me tell you another truth. That girl is not your slave. You cannot write all your whatever and give her, keep typing all through the week. What? Go and type the rest by yourself. I should go and type the rest myself? You heard me, Claire. When we have a typist we employed in this company for the sole purpose of typing documents for us, where is Flores? Why are you so wicked? What? I'm asking you. 
So all these things you pack to that, you want to, to be typing every minute, typing, typing for you. You have a computer in your office. Go and type! Bro, are you high or something? I should go and type myself when we have a typist. Anyway, let me not go into that. Were you the one that asked Carlo to pick calls? Were you? Am I interested to know that that guy is a snake queen? What? And the snake queens rest a lot. You know, she, she got tired hey. and then decided to have a rest. Okay, maybe by mistake she put her, her phone in a silence and that's why you didn't get her phone. But she doesn't to pick it. A typist we employ in this company to type documents for us is now the one you are calling the slave queen and that she has gone to rest. To rest when there is something that she has to type for the company? Yeah. Why? What is going on? Well, in my capacity as the manager of this company, I'm giving her a temporary leave. She'll be here tomorrow to finish the remaining Whatever typing you want to give to her, and that is my fool. I'm fine enough to stop in this, in this case. Your fool? I'm fine enough to stop in this case? What does that mean? That you are not going to call her to come back and conclude the work I gave her? What are you up to? Why are you destroying things here? What is going on? Well, when you finish blitzing like a goat, that's my small fridge is out there. There's cold water inside the freezer. Pick a bottle and help yourself. What? We are running temperature. Get up. Are you get up? No. Hi. Oh my God. God. Lady. One day my is born. We 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 I'm your senior. In each, I'm your elder brother. But as if you ever allow me to be a brother. About 99.9% of job done in this office was done by me. Hmm. Get out. Imam hey, Get out. You like it, what? Come with me. Good afternoon, sir. Did you just say good afternoon? What is good about this afternoon, Florence? Why haven't you been picking your call? Florence, where are you? Um, actually, sir, I'm in my house. At home? You at home doing what? I gave you analysis to type. And you left the office for your house? What does that mean? Actually, sir, um, I, I had to rush down home because my system in the office got hit by a virus. And I just had to come back home to use my personal system, sir. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm, I'm working on it. Um, it. It will be ready tomorrow, sir. No. That is good. I think I understand what you mean by that, and I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you for you using perfect discretion to handle the issue. I, I think I really appreciate this. 
as I'm talking to you, um, I'm working on it right now, sir. Okay, then let me leave it to concentrate. Be very serious with that because the final analysis must be handed over to the MD tomorrow. So I, I hope to see what you have done by tomorrow, okay? Okay, sir. <laughs> Why are you talking as if you don't know my position in this office? Huh? Do you know I can recommend for your promotion? I'm sorry, Mr. Bonkwen, but you're not understanding my explanation. I cannot date you, not because you're my boss. I was jobless for five years before I got this job. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> Point of correction, my name is Owe. Owe. That is the name I want everyone to call me. For the fear of sack you're talking about, you've forgotten I'm a member of the management. But before anybody is sacked in this office, should come to my table. Therefore, all I want you to do is listen to me, be my girl, and your job is safe and intact. Wait a minute, Mr. Fonkwe. Does it mean you want to sleep with all the girls in this company? What do you mean? What do you mean sleep with all the girls? Am I here good? You think I don't know? I don't want to join the rest of them. If you need a girl to go down with, as my boss, I can arrange one for you. But please leave me alone. I see. I see. So, so you, you monitor my activities in this office? Your activities are too open that anyone who could see could notice them. I don't need to monitor you. I don't. Sandra, that sack you are afraid of is close to your doorsteps. Now, it might interest you to know that I will make it work. You have to be careful before you turn out to be the one getting the sack. Ah! Yeah, I used to. Oh, as you can see, see, let me tell you. Be careful. Take your time. As you can see, it's busy. The MD gave us some work to do. Ah, have I not been lenient enough? Mr. Pongo, I have told you, if you need a girl to go down with, I can arrange one for you. That's not a problem. But me, Sandra. Mr. Pongo, leave me there. See you in a sec, man. Let's see. Let's see. supposed to be an insult or what? I lie. So what business do you have from wherever I'm coming from? Listen, I finally got Florence and she confirmed to me that something happened in her system here in the office and that's why she took the job home. That's the only reason I have forgiven you. Hey! What? You're joking with me, huh? You're joking with me, you see an update. Any you get? What does that mean? Let me tell you. Since you have taken me as your business in this office, hmm? I will sit down here and watch you resign. I'll run away. Do we bet? Can we bet it? You, you, what, you, you think I have time for this Can nonsense? Can we bet? For us to come down to our, for me to come down to your level? 
the most serious. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Why didn't you tell me that the systems in this office were attacked by virus? Virus? Yes, virus. There's no such thing as virus. My system is intact. What? Yes, sir. Your system is intact? Yes, sir. What of that one? It's intact. There's... It's okay. What? The systems are okay? Yes, sir. They're okay. I gave Florence a big exercise book where I wrote some analysis for her to type. Did you see the book? Oh, yes. She locked it up in her drawer. In her drawer? Yes, sir. I can't believe this. You mean to say the book is here? Yes. Open it. So I'm not with the keys. Hey. Are you serious? Yes. Is there a problem, sir? Don't worry, I. Don't worry. Yes, I saw her enter. Uh -huh. Yes. I shall go away, Amanda. Mimi Umabara. Light that shines in my office. The most beautiful angel, the queen. Open. I brought you roses to show my undiluted love for you. Open this door. A rose with any other name would smell as sweet. I am not moved by roses. I am only moved by the heart of the rose bearer. Eh? That's literature. Four in one. So you have been reading literature. Uh, I am just ordinary transport and distribution manager from my office. The man that loves, I fell in love with the staff, and you are the staff. Please open this door. What brought you here? Possibly to cajole me into sleeping with you again? Is that what you've come for? What's the problem now? Open this door, please. You have been sleeping with all the girls in the company. True or false? As in me or what? I cannot be sleeping with all the girls. How did I get into this? Mr. Bongo, why are you a terrible liar? I am telling you the whole truth. Do you know how many girls are working in the office? I cannot be sleeping with all the girls. Am I a sex machine? It's fine. If you have not been sleeping with all the girls, then how many girls have you been sleeping with? Amanda, please, just open this door. It was supposed to be an atmosphere of, 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 of romance and roses. Eh? You shouldn't be interrogating me at all. Well, both of us are supposed to be in that atmosphere of, 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 of roses and romance and the rest. Just open this door. I am not interested. And if you don't mind, get out of my door. Tell me you are joking. Look, Amanda, if there's no activity this night, I will not see the next day. What are you? Is this 
man mad? What activity are you talking about? Oh my god, how did this even start? Now get out of my door, you can go to all those numerous girls and, and get the activity there. Who is feeding you with all these nonsense lies? Eh? Please, can you open this door, please? You are the only girl in my heart and I have decided, I made up my mind that it should be you and you only. Now if you don't leave my door, in the next few minutes, I will call the police. And I mean it. Well, I didn't hear that very well. You say, what did you say? If you don't leave my door, I am dying. I am calling the police right away. Do you mention police? Telling me that you didn't spend time with any woman during your five week stay in Cairo. Of course, that is the truth. Okay, as a matter of fact, it never even crossed my mind. Can you swear to it? Can you? Well, if that will convince you that I am not lying to you, then that's it. But come on, Florence. You should know that Egypt is a Sharia state and you don't get to see loose women in Cairo. Most of the women are covered. I mean, they cover themselves head to toe. So you don't even get to see anything. Are you sure? Of course I am. I love you so much. And I do too. Um, I, I don't know. Always here. Always here. Always here. Always. Who is okay? Um, Mr. Tonkoin is one of the bosses in my office. Wait. I understand. One of the bosses in your office knocking on your door at 11 p.m. at night. I, I don't know. Me to this place. Let's go inside and press. No, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You can't go inside. Um, there's a hotel down the road. Use the hotel. Yeah? You think there is like that? The kind of press I'm talking about is not press of playing on cause. The press I'm talking about is between man and a woman. Um, Mr. Pankwem. My boyfriend is around. Huh? My boyfriend is around. Please. Hey. I don't want trouble. Before he comes here now, just to go. What's not good? What? So what will I do now? So let me tell you from the look of things. Before morning, I'm going to die if I did uh, official. Oh, so you want my boyfriend to drive me away? You want to spoil my relationship? That's why you are here. Come and go. Okay. Go now. I have a plan. Eh? I have an idea. Okay. Let's leave the idiot inside. Eh? Let's look for one car. Not go to the zoo. Pium, pium. Let me help myself. I don't I think you're not... looking. What is going on there? No, 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 no. Hey, Mr. Oh, Mr. God. Mr. So this is what you do? Huh? This is what you do? 
We employed you as a single girl. Little do we know that you have developed into Dombo Bale. Eh? Sir, please. I... Just do me a favor and shut up. Now I know why you come to the office late every day. You are in trouble. Jesus is not Go ahead. She's coming. Sir, if... Yes? Why did you come out? Why did you come out? Who sent you? I told him my mother was around and he was about leaving and then you brought yourself outside. Now you have put me in trouble. Shall you see now? Listen, I don't just understand what is going on around here anymore. Why would he be visiting you at this time of the night? Really? Excuse me. Fine, I, I am sorry. I should have stayed inside. I'm sorry. What will I do? What will I do this night? Huh? Who will I call? Can you, 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 I thought I was a strong man, that I can be it. Now I know that I can't. Please, even if it's just two, three minutes, just open for me, I will be fine. Please. Please, one name why. If I have offended you in any way, please, forgive me. If I surcharge me, I will pay. Provided this night didn't go free like that. Be mungwa ya oh, be mungwa. Release your mungwa ya. Nana na mwa mu. You know what I think, Mr. Onkwe. You are under a serious curse. Yes, and you are my curse. In fact, open this door. I want to remain under your curse permanently. Bigo, please. You know what? You're a very foolish man. I am not going to make you relevant by calling the police on you. You just remain out there and make a fool of yourself till tomorrow morning. Useless man. Even if I said to stay, will you ever come out? Oh, I cannot. That door I cannot. I can stay here till this morning. Eh? Hi. If if I die, if I die under this situation, what would be your gain? And go on away. You will not do anything with this. You won't do anything with it. The highest thing you can do with it this night is just to peace. 
So what am I going to do? You don't get this. What did I get myself into? What 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 nonsense is this? Hi, Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Oh, this is the height of it. Hello? What's going on now? Are you still there? I'm in. On that book. Hey! I want to get back to my own, get back and get a new beam. Oh, I'm in. Enjoy the moment. Hey, I'm in. Hey, I'm in. Moraga! Stop! Hmm? Don't buy me, my bro. Cigarette. Cigarette? Yes. Okay. You don't just smoke. It's your business. Go and buy me, my bro, my friend. You see, Oga, okay. <laughs> now 1 a.m. with this, oh. 1 a.m. All the shop where they are right here don't close, finish. No place where you go see shop where they open. You know they're possible. Now money will do. Money. 1 a.m. That's now money. And we'll do here now. Malaga. Sir? You are serving me. Trust us. Eh, eh, true. Go and buy me cigarettes. The only place where you see cigar now. Na cable area. Cable the cable now. Go and buy me the cigar. Ha. All right? I'll give you a few minutes to go and do that. Okay, if you don't know, understand that again. Eh? For me to go cable, it will take me two hours to trek go cable. Because it takes me another two hours to trek come back. That is if you are not fast. Go and buy me cigar, my friend! 5 a.m. You know the possible, I don't know what I talk. I don't know if two hours, not 5 a.m., or am going to come back. <laughs> You don't smoke before. You don't smoke now. Very nah, 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 nah. sure. Now, uh, I'm robbers go, go come, catch me, or rob me. Who cannot say this? Na me, na me, na me, na me, na me. Now you who? Na me, na see me. Eh? Na the same job they do. You, you, my own, na domestic. Your own outside. Na me say they send me. <laughs> Come, stop all this. I will give you two thousand dollar cash. Yeah. Just complete with me. Yeah. We will not go take time. Just thirty minutes. We are finished. Thirty minutes. Uh, okay. See. 
10 minutes and I'll finish. Mm -mm. Oh God, my husband will know. My, <sighs> my husband will find out. I don't know another man apart from my husband. How are you going to do that? He will know. I go and call this the only one man. You need another experience. And that is what I want to show you. Yeah? You will be very happy. In fact, they won't, they won't even stop. Eh? Oh God, my, my husband will know. Eh? He will know. He, he, he won't know. He didn't know where I sent him. From here going is five kilometers going. Walking back another five kilometers. So when we start now, he won't even finish three kilometers going. We will not finish. We will do anything. He go on Ishish. He go no. Uh, 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 mm -mm. See, you know. He will kill me. Okay, okay, he will okay, kill okay. me. Okay, let me give you 5,000. Hmm? I'll give you 5,000. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Oh, God, no, 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 no. No, no. How can you get no more? Wait, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, come here. No, 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 no. Listen to me, Maraga. Or whatever you said your name is. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I know Oga Mr. Punkwem very well. He does not smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how can you say he sent you to go and buy Maburo? Hey, 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 hey. True, true, he sent me. Eh? I don't, I don't understand. See, see. See, see, see the money. Let me see. See him now, 500. He, he give me this money, I go buy a uh, cigar. See him now. Yes, I agree with you, say, oh, God, 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 no, they smoke. But if you say he won't start to the smoke, eh? he give me this 500 naira. See, I go buy one packet of Maboro. Are you not getting any reason to lie? And you are sure you are not lying? Bros, I be security too. Now, because say my own inside, my own outside. Now, we, eh? I talk, what is this? Eh? What is this? Go by go cable, buy cigar. For now, you do you do the smoke? Hey, hey! Shut up. Sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, what thing go happen now? Be say, we will give you one packet of Benz and we do with us. Hi. Yes. After all, Benz and Marlboro are the same thing. But you must give us that 500 naira we do with you. Yes. No, 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 I know Oga Bonquem. He go ask me change. All of us know, you see, you see, God, see, God, no be 500. Yeah, you know, reach 500. Oh. Yeah. But, 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 why no go ask me for change? Okay, yeah. um, uh, you know what's going to happen, eh? You go, they go cable. Eh? Listen, you go, they go cable. Go buy and so they will give you change. Eh, uh, make I also remind you, say, security for there, I don't know you. At so all. if you go there, now like this. Oh! Hi! Now your end be that. Wait, 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 Anybody know say they look missing so <laughs> hey, looking. See, let me tell you from the look of this, I'm finished without you. Okay. Now that we know ourselves well, we'll be playing every day. And I promise you you'll be very happy. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Mm. Happy go now. Ah but we still have more time now. We still have like one hour and about. Yeah. Okay, one hour. Or even more. I don't know how sweet you are. Eh? Yeah? Like him. What's that? Uga? Kaji? 
Someone is looking. Hmm? Okay. Oh, now, relax. Now my husband be that. Come on. You know where Kebu is? Kebu. Haba. We still have like one hour. Not be trekking. She do it. He be with. Oga, Oga, calm down. No, no, wait first. Come, come down. Oga, my, my husband. Oga, my husband. Who is that? Who is that? Who is there if, uh, if you are an arm robber, you, you are dead? You don't go come, come just now. No, uh, the thing we say as I go, uh, I can't see those security men waiting for a find Jesus. So I come back from them. So I'm not going to go with cable. Ah, if not cable, I don't come back. Now, nah, those people for me find Jesus security. Security may give you a cigar. Yeah. So give me. Smoke it. Ah, uh -uh. you know what? Uh, you know what? Smoke again. I know they smoke cigar, okay? No problem, me, just smoke it. Smoke! Start the point. Start the point. Adashi, smoke. This is. Carry me smoke. This is. You, 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 you. Carry me come out for, 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 for this money. I don't go so far, so far, so far, so far. With the harassment and this is. You come and say make a smoke. I just smoke cigar before. I just smoke cigar. Which can which can we have in this car? Oh, 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 Smoke before, eh? Oh, uh, oh, nonsense. Lani? Lani? Ha! Lani? Kai, 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 why they yab me? Do they yab me? What do I do now? Hey, hey, hey. Like, okay? <laughs> Why go you at the Chris? I know if you yab my lani. And your hand is very pink. <laughs> lani. Don't touch me. Your baby, they took me safe. My baby, they took you? Yes. Okay. Lala. Don't touch me. No, no, no. I don't come up, baby. No, no, no. no. Let La me finish. She go still compare me. No, okay. Aish. Okay. 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 Don't, don't, don't start now. Yeah. Anytime you come, you must yab me pace. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My pressure, my pressure. You did not play. Aish. Mata Azom. Thank God. Aish. What? What would I have done? I have a customer nearby. Hey! I thought 
Why you can't they look me like that? Which cannot say should be that? Eh? Which cannot say should be that? No be me be your husband. Eh? No, no, no be me they marry you. I, I, I will look you anyhow. Oh. Well, like, like, oh. I don't like the way you look me like that. If I go continue to the soup, they go stop, they look me like that. This small girl, where my mama married for me, don't they they wide? What you can't they think now? They think you, you be look man? If you like, stay there, they think all you're thinking. You see, they look at me like that. Yes, I came early, Florence, because I want to collect the analysis you said you were typing when I called yesterday. Can I have it now? Um, sir, um, that is not the protocol, sir. I will bring it to your office. You can go. I will bring it urgently, sir. I made the protocol. And I'm here this morning to break it. Can I have the document you said you typed? Sir, you are putting me on the spot. I beg of you, please. I haven't proofread it. Can you give me time to proofread? I will bring it to your office personally, sir. Please. Okay, where are you going to proofread what you did? Is it on the same system you said I was hit by virus and it started malfunctioning? Um, sir, I, I, I came with antivirus to run on the system. Please give me one hour and I'll be done. I will bring it to your office. You think you are smart, right? No, is that what you think? Alaji Shoku. Tell me, say make I no carry my wife come here. Now my tell say, no, 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 Alaji, no, 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 no. My wife never spoil. Now, only one month where you don't stay here, Lani, you don't they follow men. Now you they talk this one. Me, I no follow any man, no. You no follow any man. You no follow any Fine, fine. How come this 5,000 naira? Eh? Because not only me and you, they stay here. And I know, say I know get five thousand for this house, because all my my all my money I they give them to a large. So all the money I they make here, now large now I they give them to. How come this five thousand naira? No be money where follow me come. Now you accuse me say I the follow ah! man. Now I know. So lady, that's what it be. Lani. No no no. So now lie lie now you fool your body. All this your face from head to foot. Now lie that fool Eh? No wonder, no wonder, large is say make I no carry you come here. Tell say no, no, no. So you don't spoil. Eh? Judge, <laughs> respect yourself now. That day when you come, let me use my hand, search your bag, and wait till I see that seven hundred naira. How come five thousand follow you come? Me, I don't tell you my own. I don't know what thing you do talk. 
I don't tell you. You don't tell me. You don't know. Uh, 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 not to the end. You must go back to Seme today. Okay. What do you talk? I want to go back to Seme now. That one no concern you. You no concern you at all. Allah is showing you can go to Seme today. You are going back to Seme. Well, light a lie. You are a very wicked somebody. You are a very wicked man. Now we, I don't begin to enjoy this place. Now instead go go back to Seme. Which place you enjoy? Which? Yeah. You know what? Just go pack your things. Enter this house now. Pack everything where you know say will be your own. Pack a cupboard here. If I hear Pim again, you see this you are life face. I go change that for you. Oh yeah. Move it. Oh, you want die? Okay. Come, 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 I sincerely don't understand what to call this. Jen, why are you pretending as if you don't understand? Just come on request. Morning safari. Eh? Did I speak another language? Did I speak French or Arabic? You spoke English, sir. Okay. But the supervisor asked me to present the file for your perusal and endorsement. Uh -huh. And here you are blocking my way from leaving. Morning safari. Morning safari, that's the name. Don't make mistakes. I should drop the fire now. If you give me this morning safari, then my head will come down. Then I will sign this file accordingly. Just wait a minute, sir. Are you trying to say you want to have sex with me? I don't get it. Is that what you mean? Why are you suddenly quiet? Can you come out clear and state what is it that you want? Do you want to have sex with me, sir? Oh, don't call it sex, Jen. Huh. That's local name. That is why it is morning safari. That is why European communities are better than African communities. In fact, they overflowing more than us. We here make sex as if it's something so important. But it's nothing. Sex is nothing. Just calm down, sir. So yeah. may I know how many people that have been giving you this morning safari? No, no, no. I just discovered it last night on the Discovery Channel. That was where I saw it. From what I saw, I'm going to stay longer and longer in Discovery Channel. See, and I will adapt to it completely. I'm going to start with you. It's not. Mm, you know how beautiful you are. I promise I will return back. It must be morning, no? It's morning for that. Okay. Eh? Yeah. You sure? Yes, I will come back. Yeah. It is true. What? Your stock in trade is to deceive all the girls. Bring them into your office and have them. True or false? <coughs> I don't know where you're coming from. It doesn't have a fire. I just want to treat this fire. So, get out. For daring to play this future game of yours with me, Mr. Conquen, I will deal with you. I will deal with you. I swear by your mother's grave. I will. Okay, now talk. You're not scared. This is my business. The dog belongs to the company. If you spoil it, you will replace it. Or the dog from, from your salary. Just because of um, this small bim. How does she know my mother is late? And I've never discussed my family with anybody in this place. Let's get a wet place. Jen, Jen, Jen. I have Jen. What happened yesterday was very strange. Can you just take a minute and hear me? You will love the story. Sandra, Sandra, can you, can you shut up? Like, can you just shut up? I have 
work to type and I've not gone up to 30%. And you're here disturbing me. Let me concentrate. Shut up, please. It's not my fault. I was only trying to. Unbelievably incredible. What am I seeing? Is it not the manuscript you say you were typing at home yesterday? Sir, I typed it. I don't know what happened to the system. Everything just wiped out. I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm still... I'm... You typed it? I'm confused, sir. I can't find it. And you are confused? And you can't find it? You see, people like you do not share in the vision we have in this company. And that is to dwarf our competitors and be on the top. You are very lousy. You are not part of that vision, and you are very stupid. Sir, I, I share the same vision. You just shut up. I was just talking to you. Um, sir, but I... Sandra, do you know you're very wicked? Like you are very wicked. Do you know? Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. The management sees me as a hardworking staff. I have worked in this company months before you were employed. What were you doing in Mr. Pompom's office? Tell me the truth. Because I know everything in this company more than you do. My field supervisor asked me to take a fault on him for perusal and endorsement. And I went there. He said he's not going to peruse any file without playing with me. Can you imagine that? Did you do it? No, I didn't. And why are you so bothered? I am bothered because this nonsense has to stop. What do you mean by nonsense? I just told you that nothing happened. Nothing happened because I knocked at the right time. Listen to me, Jane. I know that man more than you do. He has deceived me before and I wouldn't want that to happen to you. That's if you will listen to me. And if you must know, he is under a curse. Are you serious? I have warned you. And my conscience will bear me witness that I have. If you like, you can make the same mistake I made. you guys in charge of the company and I believe that if there is any serious issue you should talk to me directly and straight to the point I don't understand these parables that you uh, sir it is not parable this letter before you is the sack letter for Miss Florence Odinta the head typist in the company I want you to endorse it so that Florence is fired. If possible, sir, sign this letter without asking me why. <laughs> Larry, you amaze me. How would I sack a staff in the company without knowing the offense she committed? That is not a good management concept. A good manager must weigh all sides of the coin. Florence Odinta, as an ordinary typist, went out yesterday for lunch break with uh, Mr. Bongwam, the manager in charge of transport and distribution. Every staff is entitled to go to lunch. No, 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 sir. Not all. All her colleagues, all the staff in her level, they don't go for lunch break. What they do is send the messenger to the restaurant across the road to buy what they want to eat. It could be that she just chose to go out today. I mean, sir, it is not that. The problem is that Florence Odenta had volumes of things to type for the progress and prosperity of the company. Documents that she was made to understand were very important, that they were to be submitted for the progress of the company. Florence abandoned all those documents. 
Florence went for lunch and then she closed from there. Impossible! Sir, I'm telling you what happened. I am telling you what happened. Florence Odinta went for lunch, abandoning all the things that she was supposed to do. And that is why I am so serious with this. She has to be fired. Because when we fire her, all her colleagues who are planning to undermine the progress of the company, all of them will sit up. All of them that cannot tap into the vision of that company. If Florence is fired, they will sit up, sir. You really, really made me useless today. I swear. I can't even sign any signature at all. And what is the reason, if I may ask? Because you know how this promise I failed. You said you are coming. Immediately you left. I drove out to go and take out this uh, local ego van. See? And the thing is giving me a problem now. Mr. Ongwe. Hmm? Do you know why I came? I know why you came. I know why you came. But the problem is that this is there. It's going to be afternoon safari. And uh, naturally, an afternoon safari always take longer. <laughs> Mr. Bongwe, permit me to say that you are very wrong. I am not here for any safari. Huh? I don't know. I don't I won't take it. What's that now? Please, I have taken enough. This local Egovian and everything is standing. Please, please, don't do please, it. Please, just ask them to lie down. You will never sleep with me as you sleep with others. What? What do you mean, other, others? Huh? I hope you're not listening to Amanda's tricks. <laughs> yeah? And what do you mean by that? Amanda would do everything possible to scare everybody away from me so that she can keep it to herself. But I told her it will not work. Do you know why? She has epilepsy. And I told her it won't work. But I'm not be going close to her. Please, do not go close to her. Mr. Bonkova, are you serious? Of course. Just wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that you have nothing in common with Amanda? Me? Are they crazy? Huh? You know what she did? She came here one day, maybe two, three days ago, opened her bra and asked me to please play with her nipples. Is it me? Because in the course of doing that, <coughs> crisis might come. So I don't want anybody to fall, fall in my office. The name of her place. So this has been her plan all this while. To talk me out and grab him. Jen, what are you thinking? See, Amanda wants to do everything to scare her, but it cannot work for her. I will never, never fall for her for skin plans. You're for me. Please, tell your friends, let them not go close to her. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Come to me. It's okay, baby. Hmm? I'll, I'll make you happy, okay? Yes. Mm, darling. Okay. Oh. Mr. Bonkwe, I just realized now that I am dating. I've been working since morning. Let's just do it later, okay? Let me just go home and like wash everywhere so it will be sent in. It's not a dustbin. It's okay for me like that. It will be a very clean and beautiful girl. It's not dirty for me. Let's just once. I'm going to pump pump my Are you sure you like it? <laughs> you like this? No. Come to go to with me. He has been doing so well. If, let me tell you something. I was with the MD the other day. And the man is very impressed with the output coming out from Mr. Popcom's office. I think we should leave that man alone. Those girls that are going to his house and his office to freely give him what he wants are the people that should call themselves toilet. Okay? Sir, sir, you obviously don't care. I mean, you don't understand me. You're talking as if you're not the one that made mention of this environment being defiled? Yes, I did. But eventually I decided to concern myself with productivity, with effectiveness, with efficiency and output. 
Mr. Popcom has not been found in his areas of duty. And I cannot see myself being the one that will sharpen his punishment. But, sir, he is so irresponsible. He has been sleeping with all the girls. And that is unethical. I mean... Uh, listen, Amanda. Is it not absolutely unfortunate that in a company as big as this, we have employed a conglomeration of sexy-looking girls without brains? What are you saying? Mr. Popham has not been found wanting in his duties. He has been doing his best. And I don't see myself championing his punishment. Listen, why should we even punish a man who is taking advantage of a very helpless situation? Why? Uh, just go back to your office, please. Start this business and finish it on time before it poke a pokes into the office. Uh, Trust them. I'm sorry to say this, sir, but you are not giving a good example. I can't give a good example. I, I hope you're not one of those girls in this office working hard to turn this office into monastery. What do you mean, good example? As one of the managers, you should know the right thing to do. What? I made it clear to you yesterday that I am not available. Why can't you get it? For God's sake, why everybody in this office using that word? Right. But I'm not going to go there now. I will only stop coming to this office on one condition. That you give me one. And I close the chapter. I'm sorry, sir. Your condition is not acceptable. It's not acceptable? Where is Florence? The MD's driver came to call her and she has not returned since then. She may have gone. Hey! Why is he doing all this to me? Why? I don't understand. Why do you understand when all your chunks are busy? Anyway, I have never been a failure. I'll keep on trying. I'm going to come back again. As far as I'm concerned, you're not supposed to be angry with me. Had it been we didn't stop you and further helped you with a pack of cigarettes, it is possible you would have been the one that died from the stray bullet that killed people in Kabul. It is you that that strange bullet will kill? Me? Yes! Oh, 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 oh. So, this is why you come. Eh? Come swear evil prayer for me. Eh? Bros, go. Make I go. Just go. Are you high or something? Eh? For my gate. What evil prayer have I prayed for you? Bros, you know what? I am done with this meeting. Say he say he won't confirm yes. whether I hear the walk. Yes. You see me. Tomorrow you will see me here. Next tomorrow I day here. Next tomorrow, next all of I day. You understand? I just go. Where can I go? Go now, go. Considering what we did for you, releasing the pack of cigarettes we planned to smoke at night. By now, you are supposed to be seeing us as your friend. What nonsense, friend? Very, very Come! Uh, it is you that is your girlfriend. What nonsense, friend? We friend. give you cigar. Me? Yeah? Me, see you as friend? Yes. We have a packet of cigar at 200 naira. And so? You can't sell and so? packet. We have don't smoke. Seven for inside. 500 naira. Are you not selfish? You are a thief. See, yeah? those boys for cable, therefore don't kill you. Now you they go kill. We just saved you that night by releasing that pack My of friend, cigarettes. Just come, go, come out here. Make I come out. Go, go, Remember, go. sir, I still be security for this area. For, for where? For night. See, let me be security here. Let me see, see this area now. Let me get up. 
No worry now. Nah. I will still jam you. Now nah, I get it there. Shall we go still meet? Come on, come on, come on there. Make uh, I come okay. out. You want me to be friend? Make I come oh, out. Okay, no bro. No, give me that change. You make me be friend. Now nah, thief you. You see, I'm criminal. Make I give you change. You call yourself security. Change. Make criminal. I give you change. Go. go. I wear the cigar. Now nah, I get it there. Now nah, I get it there. Come. Come, 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 come on here. Thief. Criminal. Say so you'll be security. No, no, no. We, we go still see you again. No worry. We go still see you. We'll still see you for night. You see, you see that strange bullet will keep people for, for, for cable. Now that strange bullet go kill you. Now we you the cause, Abi. That you are second you do a two of now. That strange bullet will keep people for now. You go kill two of now. Don't worry. We Criminals! You say you be security. In a security. Go go punish you! You do it! Got you! No, let me swear! You do it! Swear for you, you do it! Criminal! No, no, look at no, those people! You go go go! I noticed you were looking around like you've never seen something like this before. <laughs> uh, but I'm still wondering why you alone should be living in this castle. <laughs> well, I don't live alone. I have domestic staff who take care of all departments of the house. And then, once every three months, my wife flies in from the UK. I see. And when I'm bored, I invite friends over to stay with me and keep me company. So you can see, relatively, I'm very okay. I see. <laughs> I'm just begging God when I will be as okay as you. Yes. Well, it is possible. You're already on the right track. Thank At you, least sir. with your dedication to duties. Thank you, sir. I don't pray for you to work for me forever. Someday you are going to form your own company and then take decisions for yourself and be a boss of yourself. After all, you have all it takes to be more comfortable than I am. Ah! No! <laughs> That's begging for trouble. I can't be bigger than you, sir. I'm just begging God one day I will rise like this and then sit down one place like you, sir. I'll be making calls and things will be happening nationwide. <laughs> Listen, oh my God. please, enough of all these private issues. <laughs> Let's talk about the oh business. Where, oh, oh, where, oh, where, oh, to forget business. <laughs> Whatever, don't bother us. I have, uh, I've arranged uh, these documents so that you can go through it. Right? And uh, before, I left, before I left office, it was really nothing. Okay. Yeah. When he is bored, he invites friends to come and keep him company. I never understood what that means until now. So why must he include Florence among the friends he's inviting to his house? I am sorry, Mr. Andy, but I'm going to deal with you.
Come on, baby. You're not helping matters at all. I mean, you've been in this mood all day. What is it? <sighs> Where do I start from? I have been fired. I've been fired. This is what you do. We employed you as a single girl. Little do we know that you have developed into Dumbo Bale. Eh? Sir, please. I... Just do me a favor and shut up. Now I know why you come to the office late every day. You are in trouble. that came here last night has such powers? He just fired you just like that? I mean, how could he just fire you like that? Just simply because he, he saw me in your apartment. What is even annoying me right now is he didn't even give me the chance to explain. I, I, I... I couldn't explain. Myself. This is surprising. He didn't even appear to me as someone who could actually make things happen. Why would he just fire you just like that? I mean, you cannot just wake up one morning and just fire your staff like that. This is uncivilized. It is not done. You have to follow due process. That is how things are done. You typed it. I'm confused, sir. I can't find it. And you are confused. And you can't find it. You see, people like you do not share in the vision we have in this company. And that is to dwarf our competitors and be on the top. You are very lousy. You are not part of that vision, and you are very stupid. So, baby, tell me, is, is there nobody we can actually report to? I have been fired. I have been fired, don't you get it? I just lost my job. Dancing at the bar today. I never knew you could dance like that. Child, leave that thing. Leave that thing. Let's talk about why we are here. Am I missing anything? What's the issue? What happened? You promised me in the morning and you failed. Okay, in the afternoon you said you are dead. What this night? Eh? You cannot deny me my my my, my night nice safari. Eh? Mr. Bonkwe. Okwe. Okwe, whatever. I think I made it clear to you. I am not doing anything with you today. And I don't, I don't know why you don't want to understand that. Why? <laughs> why are you punishing me like that? You say your sister is in the house. In Pwete. So, okay. 
let's go to a nearby hotel. Can we do to Sagum? Eju? All right. Eight times I bring your things. All the, the clothes are going to go to the office tomorrow. Go inside and bring it. Let's go to my house. What else do you want me to say? Mr. Popwen, you are still not Popwen. getting me. Whatever. I am not going to sleep with you today. Magangin is it? Beben, if that will solve your problem, then go ahead and cry. Wait, how did you even trace my address? Eh? I have known you for months. And today is the first day you are making your intentions known to me. Why are you rushing things? To the extent of even tracing me to my house. How did you even get my address? Jen, I beg you in the name of God, or in the name of anything you love so much, please, this night, if you refuse to make yourself, your body available for me to drop, it's a problem. Big one. Mr. Ongwen, this is a matter of principle. You are not having me today. And if you don't mind, good night, sir. Either man or woman, whoever that placed me on this course, yeah, turn that will fire you. Onaji. JJ. You mean it was that same man dancing earlier this evening that you went to see? Yeah, I can remember telling you he's one of our managers in the office. Yes, you told me that. But I don't know that both of you are that close to the extent that he has to visit you home at night. What do you mean by that? I mean, what are you insinuating? I'm just surprised why you didn't invite him in. Invite him in to do what? That man wants to sleep with me. In fact, we have been on that issue since morning. What do you mean by that? Exactly what you heard. Today is the first day he's making his intentions known to me. And he's insisting on having me the same day. Ha! Huh. You of all people should know that I will never do that. I won't. I am speechless. You see? That's the same reason I can never work for anybody. I'd rather start a business and gain a life out of it. My dear, I think that is the best one to do. Security man of yesterday that gave you cigarettes. Okay, hey, one of them even come here earlier today. Ah, yeah. He said, Make you come confirm whether not true, true, say here today. Oh, very nice people. Uh, Please go and call them. I want to thank them for a very good thing they have done. Huh? We're giving you their cigar yesterday. Don't go and call them. Let me thank them. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, they're possible though, because. Those boys, I know them. They don't go fit leave their area this night. You know the possible. I know these people. Uh, 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 I swear. I know how they think they behave. <laughs> you know. Go they and call one person. My they worry you. Let's just call somebody. Let me go. I want to thank them for good thing I've done to, to you. 
Go there, if he's, even if all of them are not coming. Let anyone go follow you, if he's one, to come here, let me just thank him. Finish. Okay, you look understand. Now, me know these people. Now, me, I, I know it. I know it's not the talk. Okay, 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 okay. Look, okay. see, what is going to happen now? Eh? Say, I go there now, I can't tell them. Who this is where they tell me, see me, they come now. They can't tell me, say, go, go, go. See, now tomorrow they go come. Oh, 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 I go see up. What if I see me turn fire you? Hmm? If I count three, you never come on here, go call any of them. This is what we do to you. Okay. If I count one, Okay, you look at the sign. Let me, let, let, let me know these people well. Let me know them well. He, when that boy comes, say, me and we even won't walk, fight. I call and say, Let me know these people. Let me know them. Let me know them. This is why they say, 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 strange bullets go kill up. This is why I know. It is now so certain we are going to have a change of government. So obvious. What is it? Sir, can't we continue tomorrow morning? It's already 11.30 and I'm still working in the office. So then why are you complaining? You are doing wonderfully well already. Look at it, just three pages to go. Sandra, summon courage from anywhere and continue until we run off this. So that when we come tomorrow, we can start fresh business. Okay? So I'm terribly tired. I know. I know you are tired and you have every right to be. But let me tell you something. This is time you are working this night. You will be paid for it. Trust me on that. Just continue. Good girl. <laughs> Good Sandra. So you know you don't need to mistake. Don't worry, don't worry. It's for the good of the company. Thank you. Okay, I will tell you. I know they, I tell you, I know these people. Eh? I don't go there you now. You sure say you go there? Uh, 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 uh. I swear, I go there. 
I know as they did, they behave. Eh? I go there now. They push me, up, push me, push me, push me. Especially that idiot. Welcome here in the afternoon. Eh? Women and water. Malaga. Sir? Where's the wife? Lani. Hmm? So where's the wife? Oh, I don't understand this question. Uh, would it be, where's your wife? Lani? I the very last time I will ask you a question and you return that question with question. The question is, where is your wife? Ha. Oh. Lani? Ha. I don't tell you. She don't uh, follow me. Maybe Lani, where you know before? Lani, no, no. No, 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 man. Who tell you? Yeah? Who tell you? Ha. I ask him, but you know who not talk. I asked him, wait, 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 5,000. Lani, who give you 5,000? Lani, wait, man, and day. Now, me and a day this house. Who give you 5,000 naira? She no won't talk. You know, I got to make a know whether you bring me here, I better me bring you. Now, you need to invest me. I come package jam, put up for trucks, send her back to Seme. What? Hmm? You send her back to Seme? Without my permission? Why do you do it? Why? I don't understand, Daga. Without my permission. Lani, now my wife, where my mama married for me. I, I, I could take permission from you before I send her back to Zeme. Okay. Did you or do you not take permission from me before you brought her here? Uh, 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 I take permission from you because seeing that you get house. But now my wife, I don't need any permission before I go send her back to Seme. Monaga. Sir? The same way you took permission from me to bring her, I'm giving you another stronger permission now to bring her back. That is my permission, that's my word. Ha! Okay, you know the possible, though. You know the possible. What? Moreover, I'll ask you, don't tell me Seme cannot bring her here again. You tell me Seme cannot bring her, come back here again. Wait, so you listen to a large whatever show than my own instruction? What's my concern between what, 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 what connected us? Who is allergic to, to open? This is the full man. Marry woman. Malaga. The... Open the gate. Ah. No. What's happened? Nobody did. Nobody did yet. Let me know the year. Nasemeo. Nobody did get. Open the gate. Ah, okay, where did they go? Turn the fire, your father. Ha! Lani, no, they come back here, oh! Ha! Na seme! Na seme! Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome, my dear. You know, you are very important to us in the company. And uh, based on what you did today, I am telling you now that 
you can come late tomorrow. Thank you very much. Sir. And uh, like I said back there in the office, this thing you did this night, this overtime, will be compensated. It is not going to go down like one of those over overtimes that people never get to be paid for. You will be paid for this and I will ensure it happens. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sir. You're welcome, my dear. That's so good. You're going now? Good night, sir. Yeah, good night, my dear. Why are you embarrassing me like this? Eh? It's me or... At least, if not for nothing, see me as old customer. Eh? Don't even tell me that. But did not be firewood. You're not going anywhere. You must pay me my complete money. What do you mean by for old time's sake? Do that pay my bills? See. Whatever that is the balance, tomorrow I will pay it. It is doing me like magic. Eh? I'll not check my pocket before I begin. Uh, uh, listen, I don't know how I lost all the money I can. Please, tomorrow. Listen to me, Mr. Ponkwen. Ponkwen. Whatever. You must pay me my complete money. I am not a supermarket. You are not going anywhere until you pay me my complete money or you go deposit your answer. Ah. Must you create a scene every other night? Who be that one? Why are you embarrassing your customer? I better help me tell him, man. Help me tell him. Eh? What is it be good girl? What's the way you play, you play the love, 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 love? I'm not saying you're hot like this. Me? That my phone, what you they talk about that night. I know if you deposit, I'll be everything, every, every. My listen. Eh? How they work? Me, I know they for a beg. You must pay me my complete money, or you deposit your handset. After everything when you do, all my body don't they pay me. You must pay me my complete money. I'm a wrong guy, Benny. Huh? Come back, I'm so angry. Hey, you just said, "Mama, where did you meet me before?" Huh? I don't know where you met me. I didn't drink anything. What useless drama are you performing with your customer? This man, you already paid you three thousand naira. Help me, drama. So you think 3,000 Naira is okay for what you did to me? Yay! Hey. You went and drank woman power because of me, Abi. Did I tell you that I want to die now? I don't drink anything, the natural power. I'm getting a woo before I get us that. My money is 6,000 Naira. You must pay me complete. If not, you will deposit your answer. Huh? Thank you. I've been praying since so uh, first night I'm praying. But the cost, this person that give me this cost, God will punish him. I pray will be will be pray the first. My friend, shut up! Pastor say. Who parked that motor? Where the block road there? The bike road that is parking there. Are you the okay. owner? Okay. Oh yes, let me go and remove it. I, 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 I don't even know when I'm gonna. Yeah? Okay, stand it. You're under arrest for obstruction of free flood traffic. I bet wouldn't be. We are vigilante. 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 You see how they go now? Do you know who is standing before you? Who you be? Who you be? A whole general manager of a well-established company. See, people should take your time. Okay, just shut up! And eh? behave yourself. And you shut up. Behave yourself! If I hear that shut up again from my mouth, I'll call the military com commandant. Before that con cantonment, they will move all the battalion here. They'll teach you people lesson. What's your problem? Brush this wait, man! Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna warn them. I'm gonna die, shall we remember? What are you saying? John, I know my trouble, sis. I'm gonna die, shall we? I move. Let's go this way. Thank you. You start up. You start up very well. Thank 
Are you happy now? See how you're chasing all your customers away. Next thing, you start casting and binding. You are the cause to all your problems. Face your side and leave my customer alone. It will always come back to me. He will come back to you after all this humiliation you cost him. Do you really think that man is a fool? Stop drinking Panadol for my headache. I know how I handle my men. It will always come back. I can tell you how to I want you to understand something, Larry. It is not a progressive concept for managers to engage in undue rancor and propagation of bad blood in the company. Sir, I have no personal problem with Mr. Bonquem. No. The issue is that I am bothered with his attitude. His relationship mainly with our female workers, his own becoming of a man in his status. I am sure that Mr. Bogan has to be called to order. Because if he is not called to order, sir, something might go wrong in that company. What is this thing he is doing? Is he with the female staff? Is he sleeping with the female staff? So that would be an understatement. Mr. Pongquem, to the best of my knowledge, has slept with more than 70% of our workforce. Yes, that is what he does. Sometimes there will be files waiting for Mr. Pongquem to attend to. Files that when attended to will improve the company, profit-wise. Mr. Okwen will not attend to all those files. He will leave them unattended to because he is busy looking for a woman that will satisfy his sexual urge. That is what he does. This is serious. This is not good information. But um, let me ask you, where is he sleeping with these people? In the company office or... At the uh, Sasha Quarter. So. That is the reason I came to you. You are the MD. I want you to investigate. He is sleeping with them in his office, sir. You are the MD and you have the machinery to find out what happens in that company. Don't take me who client and sinker. Investigate what I am saying and you will discover what he has been doing. I sincerely believe that something has to be done so that the corporate image of that company is not jeopardized. This is not good at all. It's not. You know, two months ago, I met a man in Las Vegas, in Nigeria to be specific, uh, Dr. French Daffinone. He's an expert in uh, behavioral sciences. Okay. And he actually uh, suggested to me that my managers should be made to attend some of those programs in the behavioral patterns that it would help uh, improve their productivity and of course uh, the profitability of the company okay are you confirming to me that mr bonquem needs that training sir mr bonquem does not need any international program to be productive. Because is he good? Yes, sir. Even sending him for that kind of program is, is very dangerous because he may go to that place and do something that will put the image of the company negative wise on the global map. And it is not good at all. And moreover, why would you spend the scarce resources of the company sending a man like Bonpo for that kind of program? He's a he good sir.
Mr. Pongwen. <laughs> oh, where? Do you, do you know who I am? Uh, uh, madam, of course. Of course I know you. Are you know Mr. Saze? Of course. Head of marketing, um, Glasgow groups. Yeah. I don't just know you. I know your husband. He's a military man. I know I met him once or twice in the officer's mess. Mm. So, so why, why do you believe I don't know you? It's obvious you know me. Yeah. Why then are you making lewd suggestions knowing that I'm a married woman? Come on, please, soft, madam. See, I had a slight accident last night. And that's to say that I will be very, very soft. This door is locked firmly, okay? Whatever we're doing here, nobody else will know what happened. Just give it to me, baby. Come, come on. Mr. Pongwen, do you real no way. Do you realize that your MD asked me to see you? That was because he knows I'm in charge. He's just ready to do the right person. Okay? He knows I'm the one that's gonna take good care of it. Just oblige me your body. See, this thing that you needed, eh? I can even sign it today. You have it. Yeah, trust me. Excuse me. Is, is this how you guys work here? Guys? Stop, stop expanding the number of men. It's just me. Do what I ask you to do. Okay. If you're not comfortable here, I can drive you to a nearby hotel where we can have it in a very comfortable atmosphere. Is that okay? Calm down, calm down, baby. Sweetheart. Mr. Down. Pongwen. Okay, okay. Should I leave here with the understanding that you're not going to look into that proposal without this cheap in windows? What can I screw you, bro? Calm down. Calm down. Okay, I'm done. Sis, this is give and take. Release this market and then I will do what I'm going to do. Alright? If bought you, I'm going to you. If you lock a lock, that's it. You're not serious. Carrying it away. After you won't do anything with it, so why me? This is in worth you. Let me know the name. Name Modok. Yes. Here we are. I have gone through what you did. Listen. I have marked the errors. So go through one more time. Correct everything again. Print, bind, and bring to my office. Oh, sir, you still haven't told me anything about Florence. Her number is still switched off. Really? Yes, sir. You want to know? Okay, I will tell you. You see, that useless girl that planned to destroy this country has been fired. What? Yes. Listen, getting to the top is the function of hard work, like you are doing. It has nothing to do with sleeping with managers. Women who tried it in the past, trying to get to the top by sleeping with men in charge, they didn't get to the top. They slept their way into the abyss of despondency where they lost relevance and had no respect. It's not good for any woman. Listen, you may decide to forget all things, but in your life, don't forget what I just told you. You have work to do, get busy with it.
your race is fired. This is strange. You're not saying anything. And I wonder if you did not hear what I said. I heard what you said. You already know I lost my, my job in the other company. But I am looking for another one. Why are you making inquiries about the company? Because I want to know what the hell went wrong. How can you just get fired simply because they saw your boyfriend in your place? Florence, it doesn't just add up. Not at all. So, what do you want me to do? Or what do you want to do? You want to get them to reinstate me, so... So... I, what are you even saying? I am looking for another job. What do you want to do? Contrary to what you made me believe, That man that came here that night did not fire you. You were fired by your overall boss for negligence to duty. I have to explain to me what that means. That is not my problem right now. My problem right now is how to get a new job. That is my problem right now. Mm. Don't you understand? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dima, I spoke to you. I. I'll explain, I'll tell you everything. It has come to my notice that Mr. Bonquem has been in the habit of going personal with all the female staff working in the company. I invited you here as my most experienced female staff to know if you know anything about it. Sir, I cannot say I know a whole lot about this report and I cannot claim to be completely ignorant of the issue. In that case, can you get me any of the female staff who can openly confirm what happened? Because I want to press charges against him for assaulting my female employees. But I have to be sure. Sir, so honestly, it is going to be very hard for any of those girls to come out and testify openly. But I think that man has a problem. I think he's under a curse or something. And I also suspect him to be using charms as well. well. Has he at any time made such sexual advances at you? Uh, sir, I'm sorry I can't answer that question. It's rather too direct. Of course. The question is direct because I'm asking direct questions so that I will know how to deal with this issue directly. So all we need to do now is to monitor him closely. I mean, with that, we might be lucky to catch him red-handed in his office. I mean, that's what I suggest. Is this true? That he has been sleeping with girls in his office? Has he gone out of control? I'm afraid that he has. Mr. Bonquem has gone out of control in the last one month. He has. We must put an eye on him. I have put in so much to establish this company and to bring it to the level it is now. Cannot afford to allow someone destroy the company. Why are you talking in parables, Mrs. Osaze? If there is an issue, open up. Share with me and we can find a way to handle it. What is it? 
Mr. Larry, I am not speaking in parables. A quick one. Okay. Does it mean that your company has given more powers to Mr. Pongwem? That's not true. Who told you we have given him more powers? Another quick one, please. Is it true that he's the one that decides the businesses your company should patronize? Wrong. Mr. Okwem is the one in charge of uh, transport and distribution in this company. And most recently, the MD transferred perfumes and other fragrances to him. So I can tell you that he is the one that decides in those areas, okay. simply in those areas. But even most times, in our executive meeting, we overrule him. So it is not possible for you to say he is the one that decides for the company. Hmm. That explains why the MD referred me to him. We applied to him to allow Glassglow Laboratories to handle your advanced scientific investigations. Like I said, that was why your MD referred me to him. But, another quick one. Does it mean that if he decides the business won't go through, it stands? Well, I am sorry, Mr. Sosaze, but if that happens to be his decision, okay. it stands. It's perfumes and uh, other spirits are under him. He is the one that will decide where to conduct his advanced scientific investigations. Okay. And as a matter of fact, those are the only investigations we conduct outside. Mm. Others we handle locally here in our, in our lab here in the company. Mm. But uh, that should not be a problem. What I will advise you to do is make friends with him. And I, I believe it is very easy to make friends with him. <laughs> and uh, if you are friendly with him, I trust he is going to sign the contract to you. But I am going to advise you to be very careful with Mr. Mogwa. Mr. Larry, no troubles at all. I am definitely going to make friends with him. Okay. But I am not comfortable with the conditions he's given. What did he say? I am not 100% uh, sure, but he wasn't speaking professionally. Yeah, but Mr. Mogwa has never claimed before anybody that he is a professional. Okay. And they are not being fair expecting him to behave like a professional. Mm. Uh, but what did he say? I... Not to worry. I will handle him. Really? Have a good day. Okay. By the virtue of the fact that I have traveled all over the world, that avails me the opportunity of telling you that I know the meaning of love. Rita, I, I love you. I love you so, so much. Come to think of it, do you think Larry, your brother, can give you work in that office? Hmm? Never. Let me tell you, I am the only one that can give you automatic employment in that office. So, count yourself lucky you met me today. I have the qualifications. I don't know why I can't find a job. Well, maybe you'll be meeting the wrong people. Chains of idiots here and there. Congratulations. Do you hear me? I'm telling you, you're going to have the job. That would be a dream come true. Ah, no, no, no. You don't have to dream. I'll make it to work. Do you understand me? What is your qualification? I have a degree in industrial chemistry with special emphasis in consumables. <laughs> is that okay? See, which means you can consume me. Because your chemistry will be world class. In fact, that job, that employment has been sealed. You have the job. Thank you, sir. You have the job. I'm impressed. Yeah, thank you. But I have continued to read romantic on the tones in practically everything you are saying. Oh, uh, is oh, romance yeah. part of the deal or am I missing anything here? Oh, okay. Let's just close this chapter, okay? Do you understand me? 
I'm just thinking where I'm going to put you in that office, where you're going to work. Just leave that issue. Romance will come later, okay? Does it mean I have the job? You already working! <laughs> What's going to work? You start work on me because I didn't think I work. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? No, why budget it on my office like this? No, are you monitoring me now? You believe I am like Pom Pom, right? You come to know maybe there is somebody I'm taking in my office. Well, as you can see, there's nobody here. Why are you here? I'm sorry, sir. But I'm not here to discuss that manager of yours. This fire is going to Life Ventures today and it's very urgent. Mr. Akpong, when we're supposed to sign it, is nowhere to be found and his phones are switched off. So what have you come to do here? You want me to sign his files? Not exactly, sir. I'm going to do that myself. But I've only come to seek your consent before I proceed. Well, you have my consent. Sign the file and send it to anywhere it's supposed to be. And if there are other files that are waiting for his attention, sign all of them and dispatch all of them. Listen, every progressive worker in this company must stop according some relevance to one point because he doesn't deserve it. All right, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Mr. Pongwem. Oh, where? Do you do you know who I am? Uh, uh madam, of course. Of course I know you. Are you not Mr. Saze? Of course. Head of marketing um, Glasgow groups. Yeah. I don't just know you. I know your husband. He's a military man. I know I met him also twice in Officer's Mess. Mm. So, so why, why do you believe I don't know you? It's obvious you know me. Yeah. Why then are you making lewd suggestions knowing that I'm a married woman? Come on, please, soft madam. See, I had a slight accident last night. And that is to say that I will be very, very soft. This door is locked firmly, okay? Whatever we're doing here, Nobody else will know what happened. Just give it to me, baby. Come, come on. Mr. Pongwem, do you realize Do you realize that your MD asked me to see you? That was because he knows I'm in charge. He's just ready to do the right person. Okay? He knows I'm the one that's gonna take good care of it. Just oblige me your body. See, this thing that you needed, eh? I can even sign it today. You have it. Yeah, trust me. Excuse me. Is, is this how you guys work here? Guys? Stop, stop expanding the number of men. It's just me. Do what I ask you to do. Okay. If you're not comfortable here, I can drive you to a nearby hotel where we can have it in a very comfortable atmosphere. Is that okay? Come down, come down, baby. Sweetheart. Come Mr. Pongwen. Oh, where? Oh, where? Should I leave here with the understanding that you're not going to look into that proposal without this cheap in windows? What can I sweep? Come down. Sis, this is give and take. Release this market. And then I will do what I'm going to do. Alright? Ipochi 
Where it gets here. If you lock a lock, that's it. You're not serious. I imagine. I'm just carrying it away. After you won't do anything with it. So how many? This is in Wafi. I mean the name. Name Modok. He's not even afraid of that useless man I married. <laughs> How do I handle this? Does it mean you live alone here? Yeah. Do you have any problem with that? Mm, not exactly. But I'm surprised. Hmm. Does it mean you have no wife? Ah. The last time I checked, I never told you I'm married. Seriously? Haba. You're still single like this? I'm not only single. Single and seriously searching. They call it SSS. You should count yourself lucky. You see it? You have an advantage of two wonderful careers to choose one from. What do you mean by two wonderful careers? One is to work in the office as a corporate girl. Mm -hmm. And another one is to be a housewife, a very comfortable housewife, my wife. Yeah. The ball is on your court. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Can you describe the girl? Sir, I have this feeling that you're doubting me. Mr. Gitman, please don't provoke me. I asked a very simple question and I want you to answer. Describe the girl. This girl is a very beautiful girl that came looking for you. I was about bringing her to your office before Mr. Onkwen came and hijacked her away. Okay, let me just ask you a very simple question. Since you started working in this company, has there ever been a time any girl came looking for me here? Sir, the first time we always come and it came today. You're a fool. That's why you can stand here talking this nonsense. Do you know what? Just get out of my face. I'm done with this. Leave. So I'm sorry, but this girl mentioned your name. She called your name. Can't you understand that was the decoy they used? That was what they, that, that just what they fabricated to dent my hard kept image in this company. Why can't you understand it? And the girl came looking for someone and the person she came to see has taken her to wherever they want to go. I have no business with that. I am not a womanizer and I will never be one. Please, get out. I don't understand the meaning of this. What is going on? How am I supposed to know it was fabricated? Are you not there for something? Hmm? Get out! Sorry, sir. What kind of nonsense is this? The woman has come looking for me suddenly. Yes. Where are you? I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. What, 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 any problem? Nothing, just that. I just wanted to know if we are still seeing tonight. No, we are not. Mr. Bonquem, what do you mean by we are not? When I've already prepared my mind that we are seeing today, I, here you are saying we are not. Why are you telling me we are not? I'm in a very important business discussion. I know you want to discuss business with me, but keep it till tomorrow we'll discuss. Which kind of nonsense is this now? What kind of a man is this? He even asked me to call him. You don't have. You've not told me the big offense your good man committed. That made you fire him. Oh, no, no. If they were see, I fired that man to avoid catastrophe in my house. What catastrophe? Did he kill someone? Almost the same picture. Let me tell you something. This man traveled to Seme, brought a small girl, which he called wife. Believe me, every night nobody sleeps here. Why, 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 why? The wailing of this girl disturbs everybody. Who cares to listen? I tell you, I was disturbed. I called him personally, sat him down, advised him. Love making is not war, it's not fighting. Take it easy. You understand? Love making is gradually small, small. <laughs> Just as. <laughs> that idiot looked me at my face and said, I should mind my business. Ah! Your GM! 
hey, hey. I just fired him. Weekly. If you ask me, you shouldn't have fired him. Nah. I see sense know. in what he said. What a man does with his wife is nobody's business. Why are you soliciting for that idiot? Eh? Yeah? Okay, hear this. Do you know that animal reported me to my MD? You can imagine. <laughs> my MD told him that he had no hand in whatever decision the GM take. That was where I sealed his sack. Yes. It is not right for one man to live alone in a big house like this. That is why, oh, that was why I brought you in. That was why I brought you. I'm bringing you into this house. Eh? It's making the whole house warm. Mm -hmm. And you have been performing well. <laughs> it is very uh, well. You've been keeping me alive. Uh, I'm good. What happened to you? You completely switched off your phone. You want to tell me you don't know what happened? Um, I turned off my phone because I, I, I just needed to think about my life. I just, I just wanted to think about the way forward. That's it. I called to know exactly what happened. Larry told me they fired you. I called to know what happened, but your phone was off. Even if you were drunk, do not believe that imbecile. That Mr. Kwankwam is just a liar. He ruined my life. Sandra, if I knew what I know now, that nonsense wouldn't have happened. Trust me. What did he do to you? He made a false report against you or what? Sandra, just just let's not talk about that, please. That's not why I called. Um actually I I'll be I'm going on a vacation with Pam, my, my PLC. And I'll be off for a while. I, um, I'm thinking of selling some things in my apartment and I'm giving an agent my apartment already. So, if you don't mind, you can stop by um, when you're off work to, to see if you need anything. I'll be waiting for you. Hmm, that's nice. <laughs> you already know what I want. Don't worry, when I come, I'll come this evening. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah, take care. Bye. Love you. Hmm, that's great. <laughs> baby, baby. Hmm. Do you know I have never done anything like this before? I never found myself in this careless attitude before. What kind of thing? I don't understand. What do you mean careless? You've been, you've been, you've been so wonderful since we met. Huh? Who told you you were careless? Don't claim you don't know what I mean. I don't know, honestly. For I know you know what I'm talking about. I have not seen my uncle that I was asked to come and see. And here I am, playing with you. That's complete careless attitude. With her, see. Larry is your uncle, that I know, no problem. My advice, forget him permanently and I'll give you a job. I promise this my position is super. 
Imagine I close from lunch break to the house. Here we are. Playing and enjoying ourselves. None of those managers will do it. Or the managers. Not even your brother. I am far, far bigger than them. Stay where you are. Relax. Okay? Trust me. What I will give you is Las Vegas model of love. Just trust me. Can't you see? We are home. Look into my eyes, you'll see the particles of love I have for you, baby. <laughs> Who could that be? Oh, relax, relax. I don't, I don't think. I don't used to have you in uh, visitors by this time. Let's check it. Come on. Let's check it. Don't shiver, don't worry. Don't worry. Very casual. Oh, my God. You have clothes for the day. So you want me to die for a man who don't even care, he uses everybody to make money. What? Even him that pays everybody every month. What does he do? He stays in his castle to make phone calls. Tell me why you are here, my friend. Can you say this rubbish you are saying now? Can you vomit this something before the MD? Larry. It was be idiotical. Go and tell him that I said so. When you tell him, you find out that you are standing like a lone star, a ghost. They will even blame you for using your word against mine. Mm -hmm. And I will deny you completely why you're here. So you're not even proud of what you are saying, and you're saying, look why, at you. Why are you here? Well, listen, there was this file that was supposed to be sent to Life Ventures today. You are the one who should endorse that document. Yes. You didn't endorse it and you closed. May I know why? Uh, I didn't endorse it because that woman involved in that uh, Life Ventures is talking tough. What? Yes, and I refused to endorse it. You refused to endorse it at their detriment or at the detriment of our company? Are you using your head at all? No, I don't. Hey, 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 I'm not Are you now controlling my department? No, no, no. Are you now, are you running my department, department for me? Larry. Are you okay? See, let me tell you, please. That woman refused to do what I asked her to do. I invited her to pack motel. And she failed to come. And I couldn't, and I don't want to endorse that complaint. Really? Yes. What? So why would I give such a woman such magnitude of business when she refused to donate to my, to my, my, my lower abdomen? What? So because the lady in question refused to sleep with you? Hey! I don't say sleep. Donate to my lower abdomen. Whatever. Whatever, please. So, because the woman refused to do whatever, you have decided to undermine the company by sticking to the contract that will help our company to grow. Hey, no, why are you destroying the company? Stop talking about company. This is entirely my own affair. It's my department, my departmental affair. Really? Yes. Okay. Live here now. Live here. Monkey. 
Well, for your information, I just wish to let you know that the business, that file you refused to endorse, yes. has been endorsed and delivered to them at Live Ventures, and the business is going up. And if you don't mind now, get inside. Larry, Larry, Larry. So you are the one doing all this to me. Finally, that woman had that business in a platter of gold without anything. So she couldn't do anything, and this idiot went and endorsed this company, this file. Larry, you have me to contend with. office with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you for everything. For in Jesus' most wonderful name, I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Super. I love this. So you can pray. Oh, oh my God. God. I love women that pray. Remind me of my mom when she was alive. She was a prayer warrior. Yeah, gentle soul, rest in peace. Amen. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. How was your night? It's fine. That's good. Yeah. Where's Florence? Are you joking or something? No. Yeah? I'm asking, I want to see Florence. Where's she? longer the one who makes the decisions in this conflict. I thought you were the manager who decides the fate of everyone here. Why are you here this morning asking after Florence? Why do you want to insult me this morning? Why? So is there no face now for me to ask about a worker who works under me? Or is it because of the useless romance with the, with the, with the MD? I don't want to waste my time discussing any romance with the MD. It is clear it is happening only in your imagination. You coming here this morning to ask after Florence has confirmed to me that you are a nobody in this company. I beg your pardon, please. That I'm a nobody in this company? Company that I run as... If you are the one running this company, as you claim, you are supposed to know that Florence has been fired. But it is clear. You don't even know how the decisions are made in this company. By who? By the same MD you claim to have romantic understanding with her. This visit of yours has accorded me the opportunity to know that you are not relevant in this company. Excuse me, I'm busy. Me, Tipopagaya. Me, Tipopagaya. Sandra, don't joke with me. I demand to know why he should sack anybody without my consent in this office, in this company. Even know anything in 
this company. Were you talking to me? No, I wasn't talking to you. Yeah? No, I was not talking to you. Sandra? Uh, no, I wasn't. Did I say anything? Ah. Okay, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> wow, you are so sensational. I should be asking you the same question, sir. What is the name of this? Are you out of your mind? You're talking to me that way? I am sorry, sir. But a well-traveled man like you, exposed to elites, sitting on top of a big money, should be able to know that what you just did now is wrong. You passed on me. Give me your hand. I said, give me your hand. Do you bite? Or you want to smell my hand? You! Get out! Okay, sir. That guy you just chased away is your employee, quite alright. But she walked directly under me. You should ask us what are we doing inside here? What are we discussing? We're just discussing. If Will you you shut up! Now, see me before the close of business today. If you fail to do that, you will see. For your own good, don't fail. God, why can't you just give me my own money? to establish my own company and stop taking shit from this goods. Yeah? <laughs> Mr. Mokwe. What is it? By the time I am done with you, you will perpetually regret that rubbish you did with me. Now I know. You planned all this. Ah, good. You should be able to know that what we did was not rubbish. We engaged ourselves as man and woman. And I'm very sure and convinced that you enjoyed it well. You particularly enjoyed it very well. Really? See, let me tell you, I'm ready to do the same again if you don't mind, baby. Please! You know what? You were sick! You were sick! Rubbish! Oh. What's this? See me before they close up business today. Onya Jago. What's the name of that? Harvest. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, alcohol? Mm -hmm. You really want me to start drinking alcohol this early? <laughs> you amaze me the way you talk at times. All these are part of the reasons your husband complains. A wife of a senior officer like you should learn to stand above others. And by raising above orders means drinking alcohol this early? Madam Selena, I am not wired like that. Okay? I am more concerned about how to deal with, with that idiot. I need to teach him a lesson. How will you handle him 
if you did not give him what he wants. And then you can stand the chance of liquidating his business through him. Yes. You really amaze me. This is not the Lady Selena I used to know. You want me to open myself for that idiot simply because I want to close a deal with that company? Hey! Uh, come on, girl. Just some things you don't tell a married woman. Come on. Gosh. I want to believe you are not going to tell your husband about all this. A woman got to do what she is going to do in order to keep her business running. If you don't give him what he wants, how will you stand the chance of liquidating the company? Do you know what? If this is the kind of advice you give, then I'm done. Excuse me. <laughs> if only she knew what her husband does with my girls, she would not be sounding like a nun before me. Hmm? Hello, sister. Good morning. Hello, good morning. I would have called you since yesterday, but there was no light, so I couldn't charge my phone. Don't worry about that, sister. It's the same general problem we have in this country. No light anywhere. But we are talking finally. Is there any problem? Yes, yes. Everything is all right. Please, have you seen my daughter, Rita? I gave her a note for you. I want you to give her a job. I don't want her staying at home anymore. Can you describe the girl? Sir, I have this feeling that you're doubting me. Mr. Gritman, please don't provoke me. I asked a very simple question and I want you to answer. Describe the girl. This girl is a very beautiful girl I came looking for you. I was about bringing her to your office before Mr. Pongwen came and hijacked her away. Okay, let me just ask you a very simple question. Since you started working in this company, has there ever been a time any girl came looking for me here? Sir, the first time we always come and it came today. You're a fool. That's why you can stand here talking this nonsense. Do you know what? Just get out of my face. I'm done with this. Leave. Sir, I'm sorry. But this girl mentioned your name. She called your name. Can't you understand that was the decoy they used? That was what they, that, that, just what they fabricated to dent my hard kept image in this company. Why can't you understand it? The girl came looking for somebody and the person she came to see has taken her to wherever they want to go. I have no business with that. I am not a womanizer and I will never be one. Please, get out. I don't understand the meaning of this. What is going on? 
how am I supposed to know it was fabricated? Are you not there for something? Hmm? Get out! Sorry, sir. What kind of nonsense is this? The woman has come looking for me suddenly. Can you hear me, Larry? Y yes, sister, I'm here. Did you just say you asked Rita to give me anything? Oh, no. That's one thing I don't like about guests of nowadays. They are never serious. Hey, sister, just come down, okay? Just come down. I will handle this. Okay, all right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Couldn't we? Rita was the stupid girl. <laughs> it's good to hear it. Thank you, sir. Well, so, as a matter of fact, are you telling me that you have not done anything stupid in the last couple of months to undermine the progress of the company? Oh, God, am I mad? How can I do a thing like that? I can swear if you want. I don't know why you join all these apprentices to castigate by them. <laughs> I am, I am 100% in support of the progress of this company. Trust me. All right. It's good to hear. There's this lady from Glasgow Group of Laboratories that I directed to you. Uh, did you discuss with her? Uh, you did very wonders by sending her to me. I saw the file. And I went through the file. That file is a material for trash bucket. I don't understand. Yes, sir. What do you mean by it is only good for the trash bucket? It is. It it lacks substance, sir. Yeah. Mr. Mungwe, okay. I read part of that proposal myself. I don't know what you're talking about. I read it. I'm beginning to think probably it's not the same. Uh, proposal she gave to me, someone she gave to you. Because, or maybe you are reading with the eye of MD and glued into the profits only. But I read and interpreted that, that proposal, sir. And then I saw it as a material for trash bucket. You know what, sir? Let's forget about that proposal. It's, it's, it's not worth it. Trust me, sir. Trust me. Trust, trust me. Hey. Well, Getman, I am sorry the way I spoke to you yesterday. Sorry that I sent you out of my office. I felt insulted. And sincerely, if you were in my shoes, you would have behaved the same. I, I am here now because I want you to describe again now. Sir, I'm sorry, you know, yesterday I wanted to give you the information free of charge. But you insulted me and chased me out of your office. But now that you need the same information, you have to give me a little money so I can buy soap and wash out the insult you heaped on me. Really? 
I'm sorry. This is enough to buy any soap. Can you start talking now? Let's cut the girl. Yes, sir. This girl is a very beautiful girl. Dark in complexion, average in height, and she gave her name as um, Rita. Yes, sir. It was just here, right here. I was about to bring her to your office before Mr. Pumpkin came out and took her away. I never seen then. I've not seen her again. Be a playboy, no doubt, but this game I know it. Just look at it. Look at benefit, just not up to one year. And this man is here insulting me. Oh, that's good. Have I touched any of your nieces? Nieces or cousins before. Have I touched any of them? Did I ever tell you or anybody that I have sisters or nieces? Yeah, because you don't have anybody. That's why we play with others, right? A girl named Rita came here yesterday looking for me. And I gathered you left with that girl. Eh? Uh? Don't well, Where is she? Eh? Uh, so a girl can come to look for you. So a girl can look for you. You are pretending on this way. You don't, you don't, you don't do anything with girls. Look at you. Wait. Where is my sister? Where is she? Where is my sister? Come on, come on, come on. I'm a cool girl, but now you think you will get away with this? It's your head. Oh, all this one, all this one you're, you're doing, you were pretending before. So you can look for a girl. But it's not a fish with that girl. Suspecting that someone is inside the house. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, yes, I'm thinking he's a woman. Because I heard her singing before. Okay. Yes. But now she's playing music. Maraga, you are standing as if you are no longer here. Ha! You don't know? You know what? Ha! Mr. Pompem fired me. Why? I'm telling you, and I went back to Semen. Really? I'm telling you, I am actually here because I found out that he was the one that gave my wife 5,000 naira. 5,000 naira for what? In fact, uh, uh, Ogalari, he slept with my wife. I beg your pardon? I'm telling you, 
He did what? He did what I just said. He sent me out one night. Okay. Uh, that I should go and buy him cigarettes for Kebu. And I left. He called my wife. Gave her 5,000 naira and slept with her. This guy is cursed. This guy is terribly cursed. Is there a way I can see that woman inside? The woman inside? Yes. Do you know her? She's my niece. Are you serious? My sister's daughter that came looking for me yesterday. I don't know what my uncle told her at the gate. I don't know what happened. I don't know what he promised her. Took that girl since yesterday. I didn't know. If not that my sister called me some few hours ago, I wouldn't have known that she sent anybody to come and see me. Jesus. Is there a way you can help me? I want to see her. Is it possible, please? Mm. Okay. Okay. You know what? What? Wait here. Okay. No. Let me see what I can do. Let me see if I can jump into the compound then open the small gate from oh. inside. Yes, yes. I like like the place you know so well. Yeah. <laughs> not nah, 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 my place. Nah, not me the walk. Please, yes, please, please. Hey. This is this is so sad. I'm coming. Yes. What kind of losses? Why why is Rita so useless? Eh? What did he promise you? How can you follow a man since yesterday? Who does that? Yes. Who are you and what do you want? Uh, I came from the company. Oga gave me this parcel. See me I give you. No be, be, be Rita. Yes. <laughs> Come on, have your parcel. Okay. Okay, one minute. You are a whore. Is this what the private university you attended has, has turned you into? A whore? Yes, uncle. I'm not a whore. He collected all my money and made me stranded. <laughs> my clothes, my clothes. I wish my clothes if on my clothes. If you say one more word, I will swap the demons out of your face. <laughs> Under a course.
You disappointed me, Jane. I advised you as a friend not to make the same mistake I made. But no, you wouldn't listen. You defied me. Now you have got yourself into the bad book of the MD. Amanda, Amanda, please forgive me. I didn't know what came over me. I am so sorry. I, I think I lost it. Please. You just have to pray that the MD flushes that event off his mind. If not, if he remembers you, you are in deep trouble. He will not remember me. Please pray for me. Forgive me, I beg you, please. Does that mean you're forgiving me? I, I have no grudges against you, my dear. It's fine. You need to conduct yourself like a man. It is very possible that he didn't touch her. Can you just shut up and say what you know? Victor, what are you saying? Bonquem is my colleague that I know inside out. It is not possible for him to stay with a woman without touching her. It's that useless daughter of my sister. We already confided in me that he didn't allow her to sleep the whole night. In fact, that, that idiot was practically on that girl. Even in the morning, when he was already dressed, going to work. He still had the guts to come down from the car when the girl was waving at him. Undressed again and took her again in the morning. One for the road. He finished that girl. Wait a minute, Larry. Are you talking about the same Mr. Pongkwem that I know? Are you making reference to a different it, person? It is life? possible you used to know him. You don't know him anymore. Because in the last one month or thereabout, a very strange spirit from the very root of hell has possessed Uncle. To the extent he can no longer sleep without a woman. To the best of my knowledge, Bonquem has slept with all the girls working in our company. All of them. This is serious. Um, why don't you get the police and have him arrested? Exactly what I wanted to do. But strangely, everybody is asking me to come down. I don't understand. Now that you forget about the police. Even my very sister that the, the daughter was molested said that I should not get the police involved. I don't know why they are saying that. It is possible that your say this might have confided in her mother that she has fallen in love hey, with hey. sister. Just shut up. How can you say things like that? No, how can she fall in love with Papua? As what? Do you know who she is? Do you know the family where she came from? No, no, what does... What is it that any woman has seen in Mumpem that will entice her? What is that? And what entices women are different from what entices men. Besides, she couldn't have allowed him to take her if she never liked him. Okay, look at it. He left her and went to work. She was there alone, cooking like you said, eating and dancing. <laughs> she didn't call the police to report that she was held against her wish. Come on, man, it's obvious the girl is in love. You, you, you know what? Just drink up. And I don't want to discuss anything about this thing anymore. Don't, don't just say a word, please. No, no. If I will understand your argument. You said you went to your village in Seme. And then you met a native doctor. And he or she now told you that I was the one that gave your wife money. Then you concluded within yourself that I slept with your wife. Oh, no, 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 can, oh, 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 can oh, you oh, try it? Hey, hey, hey. You concluded that I slept with your wife. You see why I call you a goat? Can you deny it? No, no, can you deny that it didn't happen? Yeah? Where have I gone wrong that you cannot live? You cannot leave that girl, my mother, married for me. Right? Listen, I have already reported you to a shrine in Semen. And that shrine will kill you. Chukboko walk. Idiot. You will die in that shrine. 
bet me. That shrine must kill you. Malaga, leave my house. Uh, no problem. I'm already leaving. I'm already... I am leaving. But let me tell you something. If you fail to report yourself to that shrine in Seme, it will I kill you. I hope you don't say any nonsense before... It will kill you. Because this idiot. What are you looking for, Ozo? No, no, what are you looking for? Eh? This same day you stole from the company, she has gone. Gone? Gone where? Eh? Gone where? Have I not sat in Abe? You want me to kill you before you go? Have you not killed me already? By sleeping with my wife. Eh? See, her brother came here and took her away. And I swear that her brother will kill you. Amio. <laughs> Have you come to pay me my money? Uh, yes, I bring it. I bring it. I tell you, I hope they disappoint. <laughs> uh, I want to do again today. Today I will pay cash, everything. I'm sorry, yoga manager. I am on red. Meaning with you? Huh? Makimu. What do you mean red? Huh? So what, what do you want me to do? Are you asking me? Okay, um, you can come back a day after tomorrow. <coughs> and then I'll be working. Guys, I me. I cannot stay one minute in every night without it. Huh. It's oh. part of my life. What's wrong with me, now? Um, if you know if the uh, permit me, may I go meet your your friend? Oh. She's not around. She'll be back tomorrow morning. My man is very there at all. Just give me the letter. I'll be told him that just wimp him. I'll be okay. Oh, 
You are very stupid, man. Why are you calling me at this time of the night? My queen, I'm calling you because I know your husband is not in town. Okay? I'm already at home. I want you to come out. Let us meet so that we can, we can close the deal. By meeting this night and closing the deal, what do you mean? How do you mean? See, I'm going to be gentle on you. Just accept me. On the absence of your husband, right? I'm going to give you this business. Trust me. Mr. Bongwen, I am not going to come down to your pitiable level and give you what you want. I will equally not make you relevant by telling this escapades to my husband. But I'll tell you one thing. I must get this business. You must have this as well. I'm the only person that can... Got one on me. Hi. What am I going to do this night, eh? This woman is dead me. I think I'll give another company this business. You say I'm not coming. That man is completely useless. I told the fool that I was on red, and he still had the guts to plead with me to allow him use me while on red. <laughs> it's not for you. I just can't believe this. You mean he came back after what happened the other day? But I told you he was going to come back. This is my customer that I know so well. Anyway, you missed last night. Really? He had wanted to come to you, but I told him you traveled. You would have made a lot of money from him. He was madly in need of it. He gave himself away as someone who has no class. And I don't have need for classless men like him around me. And what do you mean by that? Are you trying to say that you have more class than I do? Please leave my room. I don't want to be insulted this morning. I don't know why you will read insult into this. You said it yourself that he was so stupid to ask a woman on red to allow him into her. Where it's only useless and classless men make such mistakes. You've made your useless point. Now, leave my room, please. Leave my room now. Go! Leave my room. Welcome to my home, Mrs. Osaze. Thank you, sir. I invited you because I want to hear you firsthand. Okay, sir. It is in my nature to listen to all sides of a story okay. before I draw my conclusions. All right, sir. Why would you give me a proposal and then show my manager a different one? Sir, is that what he told you? Beg your pardon? With all due respect, sir, I am sorry. But your manager is going to run down your company. How do you mean? Sir, earlier today, I called Madam Hacker of Life Ventures. Your said manager made same request on her. I, I don't even know why you're still calling him your manager. <laughs> Mrs. Sasa, honestly, you are throwing me off balance. 
Can, can you talk to me with more details? Okay, sir. Sir, I didn't want to tell you. Because I am not in the business of blowing whistles. But, since he has fed you with so much lies, I won't spare him. I don't understand. There must be something going wrong in the company that I don't know about. Now, Mrs. Osaze, for the purpose of future business relationships, could you please talk to me? I want details. Be more specific. Sir, this is the same proposal I gave to you. It's the same proposal I presented to him. Sir, the problem we're having is not about the proposal. Because he didn't even read it. The problem we're having is because he wants to sleep with me. And I refused, sir. What? Last night. I don't even know how he found out my husband traveled. He called me and made the same request, that I should meet him somewhere so we could seal the deal, sir. No. A man who knows your husband is making passes at you? Sir, this is more than mere passes. He said it bluntly, that if I refuse, he will refuse to give me what I want. This is terrible. It's obnoxious. Exactly. It's madness. Unethical and highly unprofessional. How could he do that? Sir. You can call Madame Hacker and find out yourself. He has reduced your previously respected company to a laughing stock to everyone. I'm sorry, sir. Could it be the last night I didn't sleep at all? You said that already, yeah. and I want to know why. Well, my last hope was dashed at the eleventh hour. So that stands me all through the night. I don't sleep at all. Could it possibly be the reason you asked for me this morning? Yeah, I, I wanted to keep me fast, fast, just one, so that my head will come down to, to walk. Please. You are not serious. What? <laughs> I don't want you to it down. It's not proper. So how can you budge into my office without even the little courtesy of bum bum bum? Bum bum. You are fired. And I give you 10 minutes to pick your personal effects and leave this office immediately. Whatever your entitlement is will be sent to you before noon. Mm, you would have told me she's your girl and then I will not touch her. We don't face other girls. Yeah? Sorry, it won't happen again. Let's continue. I will give you two days to vacate the company residence where you live in. I'm going to call in the maintenance people to renovate the place and then repaint the house. It has not gotten to... Oh, it has gotten to that. Because Amanda is taking over from you and she's moving into that house. Uh, oh God, it's... it's it. Yeah. Yeah. Is this is this is this. All these information from I don't understand. Like, where? Where I'm getting this? Is Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> On what? I don't understand. Listen to me. Getting to the top is the function of hard work. I remember telling you that before. <laughs> you are not a brand manager in this company. 
What? That idiot that came to destroy this office. He has been fired. He's no more with us. Now serious-minded people can settle down and build this company. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, madam. You called at the right time. So where, where can we meet? Do you know what? Please come with the file. Wherever we're meeting, I'm going to sign it there and then after we finish meeting. Mr. Pompem, so you're serious about this? As in, you want me to meet you up? Then after sleeping with you, you give me the business? Uh -uh. Why are you talking like this, eh? You are too direct. This thing was supposed to be casual and, you know, plain, touching ourselves. Now this is with flow. Like you know, I refuse to make you popular by locking you up. Nah, that would be a cheap publicity to a fool. What's wrong again? Wrong again, not bad. What do you call a fool? A fool is even better than you. Yes, because some fools still reason at all. You are a moron. And guess what? I am going to run you out of this town. Trust me. Madam, because of this nonsense we just said now, eh, I will show you that I'm in charge. You will never get that, that business from this company. Never. Not when I'm here. <gasps> I am so scared. Now let me break this down to you. I have the business delivered to me by your boss himself. Oh yes, sealed, signed and delivered. It may also equally interest you that you have been blacklisted from the employment's board. Stop looking for a business you can run. Because you will not find any job in this town. And if by any chance you start a business, oh yes, you cannot find someone to employ. Now get out and then listen to me. This should be the last time you call this number. Idiots. Moron. Can you imagine? to see you on the ground finally. You're telling me. Who are you going to blame now? Me or yourself? Well, I came here because the MD told me he gave you 10 minutes to pick whatever thing that is yours in this office and leave. And 10 minutes is already expired. The MD has remitted what, whatever you are entitled to in your account in my presence and if you shake your phone it's there so get out of this office before I call in the police me now to confirm the appointment. He said he's on his way to Abuja and he will write me officially when he returns. <laughs> I am so excited how everything has turned out. <laughs> Amanda, success comes to those who work hard towards yes. it. 
I'm sure you will run that office better than that corporate he goes. Okay. <laughs> 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 I heard something. I thought I heard something. All of a sudden, you are deaf and dumb. Did I hear anything? Am I talking to myself? I hear corporate he goes. Who said it? You don't need a prophet to tell you that your problem is not ordinary. Ah. You need to go to your village and trace the root of your problem. Mm. That is what I would do if I were you. You need help. T.B. Joshua. Hmm? Helen Nkume. Prophet woman. Highly prophetic. Let me tell you in this office. I'm warning you for the last time. What the fuck? What the fuck are you? What the fuck are you here? <laughs> Why is he even shouting? Is he not even supposed to go after the MD to see if he could be reinstated? Instead of moving from office to office looking for helpless women to intimidate. Idiot. <laughs> does he look like he needs the job? He does not look like someone who needs it. Please. Let's forget about him. Let's I am just excited! <laughs>
can still find the bearings of your life with this two million naira. You just have to sit back and plan. With this two million naira, you can pick back the broken pieces of your life. Maybe, maybe two million naira means something to you. For me, it means nothing. When I handle this, we will do one or two things. The money is gone. Okay. Who could that be? Maybe the girl I invited. Have you lost it completely? You are inviting a babe the same night you lost your job? Shut up, woman. I should kill myself because I lost my job. Hi! Eh? I, can, I cannot sleep with a girl because I lost my job. Is it that bad? Ha. Come in, the smuggler is open. Where are you going? Who is this? I'm the driver of the company. My price is 20k for a night. You know the standard. You pay to Madame Connell through debit card. But since you said you're paying cash, you have to pay me now so I can give him the money before he leaves. That's the standard. This is unbelievable. You mean you call the whole company to supply you a whore? Excuse me, sir. We do respect. Mind your language. Our girls, they are not her. They are called girls. Professionals and highly trained. Will you kill yourself in explaining all this to to Tobias? He's my friend and uh, I'll be managing him. And I keep managing him. It's complete, sir. Uh, uh, make sure you come in the morning to pick her up. Sure, babe. I'll pick you up by sister. Ah! Sister, no, you will have gone by 4 a.m. I just paid uh, 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 20,000. 20, when, 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 when do you think? How many times will you do, uh, I will do all this, uh, this mission to complete my money? Are you doing it? Come, 11 o'clock, my, my friend. Come in, come in. Come in, come in. Come in, come in. Come in, come to Come in, come in. Come in, come in. Come in, come in. Come in, come uh, in the morning, don't enter the kitchen. Warm anything and eat. I could have gone back. Huh? Remember to lock the gate. I am super excited. I mean, this is still surprising to me. I never saw it coming. Yeah. Yes, I prayed for a promotion, but I never knew it would be this big. <laughs> I mean, I still cannot believe that I, Amanda, am the brand manager in a company as big as ours. <laughs> I mean, I, it can only be God. Yeah. I never saw it coming, honestly. I mean, I thank God for everything. That is why I've called you, my friends, yeah. to celebrate with me. <laughs> Please, make do with what I have. <laughs> 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 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be the one saddled with the responsibility of calling this toast. I have said it time and time again that it pays to work hard. Yes. You know, promotion, I agree, is divine. But those who seek to be promoted must work hard in their various places of work. Sure. We are here this night because our Amanda just got promoted <laughs> beyond her expectation. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here to celebrate as her family and friends. Yes. Okay. I am so certain that we all will agree that the promotion came because she worked hard. Yeah. <laughs> so if only you could lift your glasses. Sure, right? mm -hmm. yes. I would like to call this toast. You know, as we lift these glasses this night, I am praying that good things will always come our ways. Amen. Amen. As we are here this night celebrating Amanda, and her success, we all shall have reasons to celebrate our successes. Amen. That which we seek in our hearts that is so beautiful will definitely come to us. Amen. Amen. A toast for success. Toast. A toast for success. about booking in advance for tonight. Oh. Yeah. But don't let uh, Madame Connect know. This is my house, okay? Yeah. I'll see to that. Yeah. Okay, I'll come see you when you're home. <laughs> I'm home already. I'm not going to anywhere again. I'm even thinking that when you come, you're going to cook for me. Ah, I don't cook, my dear. Huh? I play. Only play? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, I'll see you later, okay? It's okay, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, bye bye. <laughs>
So, babe, how was your night? Ah, it's something else. <laughs> that man is hot. My dear, I am tired. I need to go and sleep. That is an amazing. <laughs> Huge guys like that, like, like that doesn't do much. So. Ha. Please, say what you know, okay? I'm so tired. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Why not? <laughs> Monica of Modern Connect. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> I don't even drink anything, you know, they shout. Yeah, I don't give I don't give I don't give This evening I'll drink all the drinkables and wait for you. See you about today. <laughs> Is Mr. Adeliki. We are here on the orders of Chief Liu, the MD of Migrate's group of companies. My own company? Okay, so what are you going to do? We are a maintenance uh, company and we are here on the orders of the Chief uh, to change all the locks and also repair everything that might have damage in the house and then uh, repent it also. Yes, he said that the new manager is moving in on Monday. I, I, I've not reported any matter of uh, damaged or repair things in my, my, my place. I just brought somebody that will be coming to cook, cook food for me this, this evening in my house. With all due respect, sir, that is none of my business. Yes, we are here to do our work and you're already delaying us. Please, sir. I come on, what problem? Pack your things at once and leave. <laughs> uh, Don't dare me to call in the police, sir. Please. You call police. Leave at once, please. So we can continue with what you came here to do. Are you telling me that a man born of a woman will wake up one morning and fire my son? Mbano! It won't happen. Papa, the man did not just wake up and fire me. I committed something. Huh? Yes. I committed something. That's why he fired me. And now this is why I'm home here. Eh? I know very well, well convinced that something is wrong somewhere. No. There is nothing wrong with you. You are healthy. What, what is it that is wrong with you? There is I, nothing wrong with you. I don't just want us to begin to argue this thing. I own my body. I know how it is. Once it comes like this, like fire, I must stay with the woman. Or I'll be restless throughout the day, throughout the night. That moment I will not get myself. Obako, are you listening to him? Do I have any reason to listen to him? I thought you said I was a madman. Oh, how now will you expect a madman to listen to him? Please, 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 help me if you can, please. I'm in trouble. Once it comes like fire like this, everywhere like this, I don't understand. I am your uncle. I know things of this life better than you do. 26 years ago, precisely when you were in junior secondary, you raped the only daughter of Madoka on her way to the stream. True or false? Uh, Obako, why are you bringing up this issue that was buried more than 20 years ago? Eh? My son has said time and time again that he did not rape the girl. Why are you... Enebelu, listen. If you will not allow me to handle this matter my own way, I will leave your house and go back to my home. Uh, uh, please, uncle, don't go, don't go. Please help me. Please help me. I, I know, I know my body, please. My body, I, it comes like a wildfire. Uh, and in fact, I'm beginning to see you as somebody who have the solution. But uncle, why do you raise that issue now, that old matter? 
I ask you a question. You did not answer my question. You raped that girl, true or false? Did you hear his question? Uh, yes, I raped her. Huh? As of then, she was not a virgin. Everything is like, was like uh, do a carriage way. Enter and. Hey! Pium, pium. That is not the issue. The issue is you raped the girl and denied. So was that why I lost control? Enebelu. When I told you, you said I was a madman. Listen, Madoka reported that case to the gods. To name by the God of justice. And I am sure that the gods have risen with their judgment. Nempa, the God that kills a man when his life is sweet. Uh, is that the plan to kill me when my life is so sweet to me? Huh? Enebelu, Nempa has waited for 26 good years. Just for him to rise to the peak of his life. Then it will come and kill you. Kill you. We have to go to Madoka immediately. If not, I see you going mad. God forbid. My son will not go mad. Is it this fetish issue? I don't I don't believe in this fetish Papa, thing. Eh? Papa, let me get my body. No, no, don't can't do. If I cross there, you go there, you're, you're going to see me the run around with pants. Don't call them fetish. They are laid down ordinance by our forebears. They are more effective than what the white man brought with here. We just have to hurry to Madoka's house before your son goes mad. Hey, is the girl still there? Hey. Madoka, you have no right to take my son to the Shirai. Your daughter at the time of the said rape was never a virgin. My son here confirms that, and I believe him. Why destroy him for that? I don't believe you are shouting for nothing. That is, you are just making unnecessary noise. Yes. Your said son is passing through an experience, and I want to let you know that that experience is just a mere partial loss of control over libido, which comes and goes. Listen to me. Very, very soon, it will metamorphose into permanent, in fact, complete loss of control, which is the same thing as madness. <laughs> It is your son. It is your son that we hey, 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 hey. Did you hear what he Keep said? Keep quiet. If you don't shut your mouth and allow me to handle this issue, I will leave this place. Hey, hey, hey. Uncle, please. I have pleaded with you before. Please. Please. This is my problem. I'm the one wearing the shoe. I know where it pinches me. Please. See, I've been blacklisted among the employees. I can't get a job anywhere. Please help me. Do not leave it. Please. It's okay. That daughter of mine is still unmarried. Still unmarried. Although she has gotten a son, a son of 26 years, resulting from that rape. Do you mean I have a son? You don't have a son. You say it's from the rape. I said you don't have a son here because you did not pay the bride price of my daughter. You didn't. So he is my son. Of course, he has just graduated from the university as a medical doctor. Hey! Do you hear him? The my son is a doctor. Hey, keep quiet and stop talking like a fool. You just said it now. Listen, we have tradition in this land. You did not pay the bride price of that girl. 
So that child belongs to her father. My son. Uh, uh, but didn't you hear when he confirmed that the son and the said pregnancy came out of the rape? The rape that was denied. Listen. I will never be part of evil. I will never be part of evil. Madoka, please. What do we do to solve this problem? <clears throat> yes. It is said that there are a lot of things in human life that the physical eyes cannot see. Yes. But we must feel it. I heard you. I'm not saying you are not existing. I've not said so, but I heard you. Now Thank listen you. to me, let me respond. First and foremost, he has to marry my daughter. Yes. Yes. Because the act of rape that put my daughter in a family way prevented her from getting married till death. So before anything, he has to marry my daughter. Then after that, we can, we can now think about the next step, maybe seeking the faces of the gods, going to the shrine to say prayers for healing or something, I don't know. But first and foremost, he has to marry my daughter. No problem. Can I ask the question? There is no need for that. We have had you, Madoka. I told you by the time I raped this girl, eh? she was already older than mine. Eh? And yeah. you raped her? Rape is ordinary rape. You denied it? When I asked you as a father, you insisted that they were lying against you. Why own up now that your life has crashed? Huh? Look, be prepared to marry that girl. She is your wife and you must marry her. That is fine now. I just told you that she was older than me. Huh? I can't marry her. Why are you talking as if you have a choice? Cho choice. <laughs> Monica of Modern Connect. <laughs> How far you are, you are highly connected. Uh, no, no, you, you won't believe it. Something came up. I have to rush down to the village. As I speak to you now, I'm in the village, you know, trying to solve one or two problems. Huh? Don't try it. You, you want to tell me that what I gave you last night, you, you're not satisfied? Uh, don't allow any man go close to that, you know. Please. It's a special property for me. <laughs> no problem. Lock up and wait for me. Uh -huh. We'll make a video call, no problem. If I, babe, you are the one I want to marry. You are my class. I send your account number, no problem. I wear the money. That's network in our village. No problem. Okay, now. <laughs> oh, sweet girl, beautiful girl. All right. <laughs> you see the useless life your, your, your son is living? Not even one block molded in his name. Oh God, in a modern block, no, no, in, in any man. Is it because of the court now? The hard man, he told you, leave it. Who told you I'm a block, do I look like a block molder? <laughs> Certainly not. If I want to build a house, I bring a company that mold, fix the house. They'll fix the beautiful house for me. I'm molding block, what, what am I doing molding block? Only G A gonna get block. You know what, Namde? Hey, 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 oh God, my papa. No, yeah, I was that name. Eddie. Open the bond, Eddie now. If you do a bond, not half since. Let me tell you something. My name is not Namdi. My name is Okwe. All right? And I, I stand by that. Uncle, I mean, if you want to address me, address me well. Can't give one now, then now. I'm going to be very good. At the middle of Omodin Kwa Road, you denied the name I gave you. Huh? 
You know what? Solve your problems yourself. It's your work. Let's go out of here. As if you, just as if you read my mind. Let's go. I may even put myself in trouble. So that the good mama can carry old computer head when they were going to organize old woman for me. So that if I if I walk on the streets with that girl, people will ask me, Ah, is that your elder sister? I don't know why. All these guys are the carry fine fine babes like this. If you say I really don't know. Really, really. <laughs> what is the problem? Huh? So you talk I'm against me and I'll just end up left like this. Hi! Wow. I won't know. that you really have a problem. The only solution is what Ichie Madoka said. That you must marry the woman you defied and thereafter go to the shrine for the prayers. I cannot ma marry in calling now. She's already a woman. What is the problem? What? Uh, speak up! Speak! Baba! <coughs> huh? I'm finished. Hey! Baba. What? Is, what? Is, what? I agree, I agree. I agree. I'm ready, I'm ready. Mm. NK. I don't know where to, where to start from. But first of all, I am sorry. I swear to God, I never need to resort like this. You know, I was only exhibiting the youthful exuberance as a young man. I never know. I never know. I was shooting myself on the leg. Please. But I want to ask you one question. I didn't ask. Please. Please to marry me. Please. I know it's hard for you, but please, can you still take me as your husband? Because I'm ready to marry you, please. Please stand up. As you can see, I've already moved on with my life. Please. please. I didn't know my father reported you anyway. He did. He did. Please. Can you stand up? If this marriage will solve your problem, yes, now marry. Oh, Chineke Odo, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I no. actually don't want to be anybody's <sighs> problem. Hey, okay. Nandi, Nandi, you really hurt me. I know, I know, I know, and that is why I have come, so that all these problems will stop. We could recover all we have lost. Come on, my love. It's okay. Just give me a smile. Manage. Give me a smile. Give me a smile. <laughs> so far, <good. laughs> Let's go inside. To where? No. No. Come and go, please. Hmm? Go. Come on, let's go. It dawned on us, finally, that there is no escape route. Nempa, the god of justice, has risen against my son. The reason is to bring justice to the molested woman. Mm -hmm. That is wow. why 
We have come with all the traditional requirements that will make a woman a wife. Unkolika mm -hmm. is your daughter. But God moved ahead of us to make her our wife. Please, grant us this request. <laughs> Ubako, mm -hmm. there is no need for all this. You don't have to ask questions about that. You know, I hold you in a very high esteem. Yes. And there is nothing you want from me you cannot get. <laughs> as long as I have that and within my reach. If I never wanted to release my daughter to your family, I wouldn't have accepted all the items you brought. Um, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave, girl. Uh, okay. Uh, so, um... Uh, it's okay. Mm. Uh -huh. Why you called me? Uh, yes, I did. And you know why I called you. Uh, he has come finally. With his father, his uncle. They have come to fulfill the, the traditional what? requirements that will make you his wife. So the next thing now is, if you can say yes before me, I will bless the marriage here and now. Father, I believe God allowed all that happened for a purpose. He gave me a son who is already a blessing, if not for anything else, for the sake of our son. I accept to be his wife. Hey! hey! <laughs> okay, <I'm old. laughs> What? Everything you saw in that letter was exactly what happened, the way I explained it, sir. I was cursed from my shrine. And the aim was to bring justice to her. And uh, you can see I'm not, I'm not married, sir. I'm married to my wife. And uh, I have changed my name. It's no longer Pongwem. My name now is Namde Nebel. Not Pongwem. I'm even surprised, God forbid, whether that name was responsible for all these iniquities. Uh, so I beg, if only you would take me back to your company. I promise to make difference, very perfect difference. For all the departments, I committed atrocities, iniquities. I'll try and bring better results in this company, sir. It's all right, sir. Well, let me start by saying, Madam, welcome to my humble abode. Thank you very much, sir. Well, I must say congratulations Thank to you. the new couple in town. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I am happy that you have solved your problems. And um, concerning the job you lost, 
I will give you one that is better than that. Wow. Yes, I have always known you to be forceful and very reliable staff, despite all the problems you had. You are going to manage the new branch we are opening in Onicha. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. My pleasure, Thank you. I know you will do well there. Uh, once again, congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Go please. I will never disappoint you, sir. Oh. Never. I'm now a married man. <laughs> no problem. Even if anything. If you have women there, it's not my business. I've come to a lot of places. Congratulations one more time. Congratulations. So thank you. God bless you. We're doing it in the UK. We're doing it in the UK. We're doing it in the UK. Get Walk under me. 